Hello. 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 It was called the Lucky Hit Weekly Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. yeah, it's kind of more fortnightly at yeah. the moment is if we're time. lucky. <laughs> this is the 52th week, so um, <laughs> it is technically a, a year. So, <laughs> we're slightly popping on the other part of Pinky Drinks. Pinky Drinks. I did an inward burp. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta do a burp. You burped into yourself. <laughs> it really actually hurts. <laughs> So, I am Murray Curry, Tommy Pope, Murray Curry, whatever. I'm joined by... <laughs> Bill. <laughs> and me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we got less formal as we went on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the gag man. Yes. Flat the younger. Good. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll come on Murray board. Curry. <laughs> okay. We'll come on board and uh, we're going to have we're a little the song, ship, and then we're going to do the rest of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. Gonna yep. be that's a good idea. <laughs> Just put a song on. <laughs> I like how we're still as amateur as we were at episode one. <laughs> yeah. If anything, we're more amateur now. <laughs> Lucky here, weren't you later? Uh, is, is it on? <laughs> God, imagine us having to do a thing at the end of that Yuri Gamer. <laughs> oh, yeah, imagine oh, that. Oh, um, <laughs> oh, Phil. What are these things again? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> I think I've spent most of the time. The with fuck, fuck is a video game? game. <laughs> it's something inappropriate. <laughs> I need, I need bus fare. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even. That. <laughs> that was um, funky fresh. Yeah, that was uh, reggae from a uh, Wizkid on the Amiga, uh, mm. um, composed by Richard Joseph. Ooh. Fucking love that game. That's a weird game. I really want to do a. Uh... One was Wizkid. Was that the one with the physics, the ball? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's basically a head, and you I just bounce things you into the, bugs. The, the letters and the bunny rabbits. What wizard Liz kids? Oh, wizard kids. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that was rather good. I enjoyed yeah, it. that's a game I really want to cover on the channel at some point because mm-hmm. that was like one of the games I played on the Amiga when I was little and it's bonkers. <laughs> it's by uh, Sensible Software, so you sort of uh, yeah. know what, you, what you're getting from that, <laughs> basically. It's good to get a lot of Amiga because yeah. it's something I'm not too educated on at all. So it's nice mm. to see these games that are just weird. There is some bloody very, weird stuff on yeah, the Amiga. Very lovely yeah. sound. Oh, oh God, yeah. music on it is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> It's so, very good at doing <laughs> noises. <yeah. laughs> I absolutely love that Fury of the Fairy soundtrack. Oh, the one we played on here. After we played before, the one yeah. on here, I ended up going back and listening to a whole bunch. Mm. some insane yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I like Turrican. So, that was good. That's funky. That's fresh. What's up, Funky fresh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, what have we been playing? Who wants to go first? Because I haven't really been playing that much. <laughs> Mine's the same as last week. I'm still playing Terraria. Really? I've got... There's, there's like a... What, oh, fuck me. I've, I've, there's three mechanical bosses, which are dicks at first, but when you start to beat them, you like you, know, you can pretty much get a handle on it. All right. Although Skeletron Prime pissed me off. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, it is like a, yeah. It is like a a, a um, skeletal head surrounded by like loads of arms that have guns and bombs and bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Just a big pair of bollocks in his hand. <laughs> and for those, no, but um, you don't want these in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Minus fifteen health. <laughs> and you get the shame debuff, which is, you just. The character just hangs his head. Like, I've been violated. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Um, what was I say? That's a whole new level of tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> Mega tea bag. <laughs> I suppose if you're putting it through the system, wouldn't that be like brewing? <laughs> <laughs> you're not just dunking. You're full on brewing. <laughs> One lump or two. <laughs> oh. Christ. Anyway, yeah. two. <laughs> after, after you beat one of these three, like basically there's three mechanical bosses, they get harder as they go. There's the destroyer, which is like a big worm thing, which, yeah. and then there's the twins, <coughs> which are two eyeballs, which are creepily connected by like a bit of string that's like flesh, basically. It's really, really quite yeah. But um, <laughs> then there's Skeletron Prime, which is just a big old bunch of bollocks. <laughs> But yeah, um, after as you, previously discussed. Yeah, after you beat either one of them, like obviously logic dictates you start with the destroyer. You um, unlock a like I think it's four percent chance that every morning um, there's a chance to have a solar eclipse. Okay. And basically, when that solar eclipse occurs, you get bombarded by like these unique one-off enemies. There's okay. vampires. Uh, these things called swamp things and <laughs> something else. But yeah, like I did all that and I knew what to expect. I wanted to get three of these really rare items called uh, Broken Hero Swords. <laughs> and I only managed to get one, which pissed me off. But um, I managed to use it to make... Um, you can use it to craft your weapon into something better. I crafted okay. it into a... It was called a Knight's Edge that I had. I crafted it into a true Knight's Edge, which basically <laughs> has sword power, like in Zelda. But, um, <laughs> like, really fast sort of power. So it's like... <laughs> jerk. So I managed... That's why I use that. <laughs> so I managed to use that to beat the twins. And then eventually, Skeletron Prime... What a cunt he is. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, now I'm basically approaching sort of the end game now, which kind of makes me sad, because, like, 80 hours in... Oops, and I finally managed to do that. I did want yeah. the experience to end. <laughs> I kind of don't, because like, I feel like if there is a last... I don't know if there's a last boss or not, because mm. unfortunately it's one of those games you have to like watch Let's Plays and yeah. stuff just to know what to do next. But yeah. um, I'm kind mm -hmm. of thinking after that, all I can really do is build stuff and maybe grind out a few of the things I don't have yeah. and just sort of, you know, fuck about, really. But... It's a bit sad, really, because when there's no longer any progress, whether I want to or not, my mind sort of just goes, well, you might as well move on now. And I don't want oh, to move yeah. on, because I love it. Sorry, my drink is getting on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> you see the guy, I'm annoyed by the you trying to have a cheeky sip by you. I clink, 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 I shall put a stop to this. A clink, clink. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, he's <laughs> clinking the drink. <laughs> he's ruining the show. He's spoiling everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> you know, I'm going to work on getting two more um, Broken Hero Swords. Because you can make an Excalibur after you beat the Destroyer. You need two items that he drops. It's like pretty much guaranteed drops. Mm. No, they are guaranteed drops. Huh. There's like the, these hallowed bars, which are like ingots. And um, souls, Hello, bars. <laughs> and souls of might, I think it is, which are just like these yeah. weird things that usually drops like between twenty and forty on. <laughs> so like you know, yeah. yeah. So I've I've got about one hundred and forty of those because I keep fighting the destroyer just just to get stuff. <laughs> but um, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if I, if I can get two more, like I can make an Excalibur. No, I have made an Excalibur, but I can turn it into a true Excalibur. Okay. Then if I've got, I've turn already got an Excalibur two. <laughs> basically. Um, so if I have true Excalibur and I've already got true Knight's Edge and then one more broken hero sword, I can make a, the Terror Blade, which is the best melee weapon in the game. It basically it auto. Attack. So you just hold down the click and it just goes, <laughs> <laughs> and each time it shoots off like this sword power. And it's a bit it has, like the like, Chris or mental. something. It is, yeah, it is basically like the Chris Grimm, but anyone who's played Symphony and got the Chris Grimm, you know yeah. exactly what we're talking about. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's like the Chris Grimm with sword power. So oh, wow. it's pretty fucking mental. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I also managed to... I beat the twins, you know, the two eyes connected by the bit of fleshy string. <laughs> I um, I managed to use their items and a really rare item called a black lens okay. to make an uh, optic staff, which summons them to fight for you. What? Yeah, so there's little mini versions of them. They're a bit shit and not very powerful, but they're really, like, cute. Like, you get a lot of cute, cute little pets and they're stuff. They're cute little eyeballs connected by nasty flesh. <laughs> one, of them, one of them's got teeth, and the other one's what? got... A laser yeah. jammed in its side. Ah, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, adorable. <laughs> All it's, one is a pet. <laughs> it, well, it, it's cute in that way, you know. In that oh, really lovely, kind of my existence is pain. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know how when you get anything in your eye? Yeah, constantly, mate. Yeah. And I can't blink, I've got no eyelids. <laughs> yeah, they don't. 24-7, just pure ouch. You know, like when someone <laughs> blows right on your eyeball and you go, ah, stop it, it's drying out. <laughs> Well, more like if someone gets sand in your eyes. Oh, or like, lovely. Or someone cuts your eye open and sticks teeth in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, that, that old chestnut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, someone did that to me at school. Prank. Bloody pranks, yeah. <laughs> I got over it. I had plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I just did and got a new eye put in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like that Deadwood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, yeah, Deadwood. Oh. Yeah. That was brutal. It's, a bit, a bit cartoony, but yeah. I only yeah. ever saw one episode. The episode I saw was just like I don't, I don't know what was going on. It was just like I don't Shakespearean know. dialogue in the wrong setting. Yeah, but I that's basically like what it show. was. It was very clever writing, but then he was like holding someone's head down. And yeah, <laughs> and then he I was... think that's why it didn't. <laughs> in, I th- you know, yeah. <laughs> I think that's why it wasn't turned over for another series. Yeah, which is a bit sad because yeah. I liked it. What is happening? It's literally just like. I put it to you, good sir, yeah. that you... And then it's like, why don't you cocksucker and suck my fucking cock? Yeah, that was it, yeah. <laughs> I put it to you, sir, that you are a scoundrel. You're a scoundrel? A mongrel. Um, a wastrel. A wastrel. A cane. <laughs> a couple... A, a, a bowl of gruel. <laughs> a bowl of gruel. And other things with that ended rule. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realise what you were doing. Well, I put it to you, sir, that you're a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you're a cheeky <laughs> Now I'm going to savagely beat you, and then I'm going to have my way with your missus. <laughs> well, even when they did Just that... Just like in Shakespeare. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I was being serious. Yeah, yeah. Well, even, even when he was doing things like just threatening to kill someone, it would be like... Um, if you continue on this path to annoyance, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid I'm going to have to um, extract my revenge on your extremities. And it would just literally be like... So you're going to keep me in the bollocks? Yes. <laughs> yes. In the actual days of Deadwood, it would have been like, you insulted in my honour, now I'm going to kick you in the nuts. <laughs> and I'm going to shank you in the gizzards. <laughs> Get back here, you. <laughs> so, Wild West times, everyone was that character from King of the Hill. <laughs> Conspiracy. I, I can't remember his name. Dale. Dale. Dale, Dale Gribble. <laughs> Arlington <laughs> County's number one exterminator. <laughs> that was good. That was amazing. <laughs> Should we get back to games now? <laughs> I yeah, thought we were still doing that Deadwood. to Aria. Yeah, Deadwood. That was on the PS2. <laughs> oh. okay. So yeah, Terraria, you're still enjoying it, yeah. still playing it. I Loads. It, yeah. <laughs> Basically, um, all I can really do now is get a better pickaxe. You can get a pickaxe called the Pickaxe Axe, <laughs> which is like, oh, my God, you should see it, right? 
It's stupid. If you're digging through like just stone and mud as usual, it literally goes. Your character. Oh great! I'm in the center of the earth. <laughs> yeah, you literally like because you can get mining potions as well, which increase the speed twenty five percent. So you just like oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I've earned that because it's a game that really does like it really feels like you earn it in Minecraft it's like you can just dig around for a bit and luckily find some iron and then yeah. like, duh, 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 duh. but in this game it's like you have to <laughs> you have to fight massive bosses and you really like when you first fight them and you haven't watched them really YouTube videos yet to learn how to fucking fight them you you know if you can beat it you feel triumphant and you feel like you've earned the next bit. yeah it yeah. does, yes. Yeah. Spelunky yeah. takes a lot of like uh, research too. Uh, yeah, yeah, research, oh, patience. Okay. And just I've done skill. the research, and I still shit at it. Because with those games, I don't always associate skill with them. Like Minecraft, it doesn't take skill; it takes patience and fucking. Yeah, Minecraft hours takes and hours. Yeah. hours and just, just <laughs> like you say, time. research. Yeah. But, like, in Terraria, there is a certain level of skill to it because, mm. like. I don't, it's it's kind of micromanaging. It's not really skills in like say, Ninja Gaiden or something where you have to like time things and dodge stuff. But there is an element of that. But a lot of it is kind of, you know. Yeah. Just just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just out of interest, um, has anyone played that? Oh, what was it called? No. Oh bollocks. <laughs> um, Steam, Steam, Steam World, World Dig. Is it, that my, any good? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've got, got it on my I've played Steam, it briefly. but I haven't. Yeah, I've got it on Steam as well. I've got it on Wii U when um, they did it on sale for a couple of quid. I just asked because um, it looks like something that I really would like to see. It's got Minecraft elements, but it's a platform game. That's something I'm really interested in. It's kind in. of a platform game, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I've only played it for like an hour or so. It was pretty good, though, from yeah. what I've played so far. But I, I grabbed I, it. I haven't played, played like other mining. Yeah. Like games for comparison, but all like, the millions of hundreds of <laughs> craft uh, games. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, Minecraft's popular. Hey, coon, 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 copy, copy, copy. <laughs> oh, Some of them are just. Really Have bad. you seen the amount of them really on the Xbox? Blanket. You know, on the yeah. easy yeah. games. Yeah. Oh, God. And the amount on Steam. <laughs> and, Steam. As well. yeah. and they charge like blanket. 12 quid for them. It's like, yeah. oh, they're um, called like Craft World or yeah, Ninja Mine. Mine <laughs> Ninja Craft 3D. <laughs> Creator <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, one of the things called Craft Mine. <laughs> craft Mine, yeah. It probably is. No, 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 no. no. Uh, it, could like... be, it could be Minecraft, but spelt like German League. Yeah, Minecraft. Like, like, no, like, uh, like, um, like Hitler's other book, Minecraft. <laughs> oh, God. It's Minecraft. <laughs> there is actually one on like, the 3DS yes shop, but it's just called like. <laughs> <laughs> it's called like 3D block oh, yeah, creator block and it just, yeah or some shit like that some I'm shit sure. I want one of them to yeah. just be honest and say this is another Minecraft clone <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> <I'm dead laughs> we, we <laughs> want you to think <laughs> this is Minecraft some money like Mojang please think <laughs> this is Minecraft <laughs> yeah uh, so um, there was a thing in the week uh, YouTube put out a top 10 list apparently of the most viewed uh Video games on YouTube. Okay. And Obviously, my yeah, yeah, that was number one. I haven't got the list on me, but hmm. I remember Five Nights at Freddy was Five Nights at Freddy Night Nine. Um, I made Slender, a Slender, um, surely. I made no, a tweet Slender about wasn't on that, which I thought was, was really funny. Sorry. Mm. I made a tweet about that, which I thought was really funny. I said, um, <laughs> "I only need to spend one night at Freddy's to know he's a cunt." <laughs> 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 Nobody liked it. <laughs> One of the surprising games on that list was um, Puzzle and Dragons. Really? Yeah. I, I'm, I can't say I've ever seen any well, YouTube. I. It must be like a... I, be a know. I, know, I know it's massive in like China and Japan and stuff, yeah. so maybe it's mm. to do with that. And I would have thought most like Japanese users use um, Nika Nika Doga rather than uh, mm. YouTube. But, yeah. Nika Boka Glory? Yeah, Nika Boka Glory, yeah. <laughs> Is that a thing that exists anywhere else in the world? I think it's just called Sunday. Yeah, in Japan, as a video channel. <laughs> Everyone else just calls it a Sunday, don't they? Ah, of course, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, so yeah. just to explain it, Nika Boka Glory. No, Nika Boka Glory. It's a cockney thing. Yeah. Nika yeah. Boka Glory. Nika Boka Glory, they're the seafront. Well, they're going to your monarchs. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, how landing cookies. They make a, a big meal about going to South End. I know, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, we've got to go down the old uh, on, on the set. Oh, it's not set, it's mostly these fucking stones. <laughs> and <laughs> shopping trolleys. Mostly stones. And shopping trolleys. Stone shopping trolleys are like <laughs> abandoned heroin needles. <laughs> <laughs> Homeless people. I'll tell you, uh, I think it was yesterday. And about seven million seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Yesterday, Kat said to me, oh, we should take the little, little man down the seafront tomorrow, my, uh, my son. I went, he's not going in our sea. <laughs> <laughs> He'll dissolve. It's not, it's not the sea, it's the, it's the Thames sewage runoff. It's not yeah. the sea. It always smells like sewage down there as I've well. actually got a giant, massive scar and a bit of weird tissue in my foot from when I went, last went in the sea. The last time I walked, <laughs> like, barefoot, yeah. On the beach, I actually got like some kind of infection on my leg, <laughs> like some big <laughs> thing. Like... Yeah, we do not have clean beaches, or we do, but not necessarily here in South End. Well, basically, South End uh, in Essex is the um, the yeah, mouth of the River Thames, yeah. and as we all yeah. know, since Victorian landed times, yeah, we've been dumping times. shit in the Thames forever, yeah. and like, it's only now that we've um, you yeah, know now days times <laughs> that we're actually trying to clean up the, the Thames because um, oh, yeah there was that thing wasn't it it was like oh quite a while ago but uh, basically um, right outside back in the palace um, you know it's right outside the um, the Thames MPs were complaining that, um, that all they could smell was just like shit coming out of the Thames they're like we should no, clean this up no coming out of their mouths <laughs> <laughs> nicely done sorry oh. Oh. <laughs> ow my finger I'm like Ben Elton with my political humour. You don't move on to what I've been playing it's even though it hasn't been much. Political yeah. humour. Yeah. Political. Political. <laughs> political. A bit of slap and political way. <laughs> Back to Knickerbocker glories. Basically. <laughs> Basically it's a Sunday for copy. Yeah, I never yeah. actually, I never actually yeah. got to finish that story, yeah. yeah. It's just a <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like some shit tin fruit in it. Yeah. Some custard, cream, ice cream, biscuit, coal... Skin, <laughs> wallpaper, whatever they could find. Asbestos. <laughs> whatever they could find during the First World War or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> a bottle of glory. <laughs> we'll have some pie mash, litter sauce, put some like vinegar on it so it goes all cracky. Oh, I love yeah. that. Oh. <laughs> In all seriousness. Have all some of that and then uh, get some We'll have cobbles. a nice bit out all crumble and eat a block of glory. Two desserts because we're fat. <laughs> Two desserts because we're in ostentatious post-war Britain. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> have a cup of tea. <laughs> What have you been playing, Aaron? What have you been playing? I was thinking of uh, bringing it up because this is something we could both mention. Um, <laughs> Nintendo put out like this free amiibo thing with you on oh, Wii U, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. Where it was basically, oh, uh, well, you've got amiibos and they're not really being yeah. used for that much We need to yet, think so of things to do with Quick, them. come up with something. Uh, <laughs> it's, you so got a, I've got a Mega Man amiibo for all those Mega Man games that are coming out this year. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you had Mary Kart I, you could dress your me up as Yay. Mega Man. I don't have it, but I will. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they put out this thing called Amiibo, no, don't. Amiibo um. Touch and Play. <laughs> yeah, it's quite yeah. interesting. Too easy. <laughs> I'm thinking America is too easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's called Amigo, Am- Amigo. Amigo, Amiibo Tap in America, which ain't much better. <laughs> More like Amiibo Crap. <laughs> Amiibo Tap there. Amigo, Amigo, sorry, Amiibo Touching Guy. <laughs> Samba D Amiibo. Tap and Fap. <laughs> tap and Fap. <laughs> tap and Fap. <laughs> tap and Fap, the old fanny uh, flap. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new... Um, you know, back in the was it Commodore sixty four? Was it was that the one with Beat and Eaton? Or was that on something else? <laughs> that was Atari. Atari. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Tap and Fapham. Tap and Fapham. Kick 'em and dick 'em. I wish that was a real game. Fuck 'em, fuck 'em. That's too obvious. <laughs> Well, you had a little go on Splatoon Wooney, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Tap it and wrap it. was that? Basically, last weekend I spent entirely on... We'll we'll come back to the Amiibo thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did uh, play that uh, Splatoon demo thing they did for the one weekend. Obviously, we've got a video on the channel of the one time I played it because it was just for that hour. And they they did do, like, they did, like, three different... 
like time slots for it, but I missed the other two, so I just they weren't that one. brilliant <laughs> times for us. Were no, they? especially the, the bloody one. four a.m. one. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, four to five a.m. for some reason. Watching that video though, I realised that because um, I wasn't that excited about Splatoon, I thought, oh, you know, it looks quite interesting, but it's mm. a, it's still a shooty game, you know. Yeah, so I'm not really that. Bothered. I really liked but like watching the that... style and the music yeah. of it, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be yeah. my kind of game, like gameplay wise. But watching but you play it, demo, I thought it looked fantastic. Yeah, after playing the demo, I was like. I actually really want to play this more now. I kind of got Jet Set Radio vibes. Oh, like. big time, yeah. yeah. The music especially and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Music it's... and just the general look of it. Well, yeah. you stop playing with that pony as well. One thing I didn't realise when I was playing the demo is you can actually turn the like gyro camera off. Wow. Because you have to sort of like tilt the gamepad around for the camera. Yeah, right. And you'll probably notice in the video at the start, I'm just yeah, wiggling the, the camera. camera tool. It's just going. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause I'm, 'cause laughs> I didn't realise it. Because obviously, when you're playing it, you don't really notice that, do you? Because you're just constantly yeah. you're looking around. Oh, but yeah, when you watch it back, you're like, oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can actually apparently turn that gyro off and just use the right stick. But awesome. I don't know, it seemed alright once I got the hang of it, like the hmm. gyro what stuff. Is it's sort of crossbow like, training. <laughs> fucking. What? <laughs> oh god, that! You ever yeah. did your off? I remember playing laugh. that once and never again. <laughs> so yeah, I played that. Um, I played quite a bit of Game of Wario on the weekend and uh, mm. some Mario nice. sixty four, which I got in the. Oh yeah, you got it on the Wii U, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, the uh, big Wii U. Have they like upscaled the graphics at all? Yeah, I think it's actually. Running oh, what, like, like it does on like HD. Yeah, uh, I think it's running that. Ah, uh, do you think maybe they're using the? DS version as opposed to the no no it's yeah, the N64 game yeah, oh, the N64 no, no, no. DS version no it's just running because on the uh, <laughs> yeah. Wii it was actually yeah. double the resolution to what it was on the N64 I would have played Luigi it was really nice on that and on the yeah, uh, Wii U it's yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah then there was also the uh, Amiibo Tap and flap all over his shoulders. I don't know. Um, yeah, basically, you you told me about it, and then when you uh, popped over, we had a little go, didn't we? And yeah, like, yeah I bought a couple ones. of my amiibos. You tried to draw amiibos out on it. I actually thought it was fantastic because it wasn't just a case of of tap it and you get a couple of minutes to play. You can use it over and over again, so it's like an endless demo, and yeah. it gives you like loads of. It's scenes. basically highlights. You get. Yeah. At, I think you get up to like ten scenes with yeah. each game. You basically you scan on any amiibo and it will just throw up a random game out of the selection in NES yeah. and SNES games, huh. and then they give you three minutes per scene. That's and if you scan it again, you you can even just hold the amiibo yeah. on and just flick it goes through the scenes. All, yeah. And the best thing about it is you get kind of like quite a lot of the game in yeah. some of them. Some of Big them they time. they give you like the final boss. And yeah. Like, they, like the. Do you um, know links links um. Uh, fucking to the past they yeah. had like <laughs> a whole load of bosses didn't it was they? Like you just, the, almost like a major boss rush. bosses yeah yeah I can see people using this as like a sort of mini speed run yeah. like challenge thing where it they see really what they can how far they can get in three minutes and stuff <laughs> and uh yeah, the fact that it's... I, I can understand why they made it so it's random games for each amiibo, because obviously if they made it so each amiibo gave you a specific one, people would be like, oh, but I can't get this amiibo, so I can't play that yeah. game. So obviously they've just made this just completely random. Um, I actually found out one thing about it, because when I first scanned all my amiibos in, I was really hoping to get, like, Punch-Out, F-Zero, Super Mario Kart, uh, all that kind of stuff. I kept getting the shit NES games I don't care about. <laughs> I kept getting like Ice Climber and Pinball and. <laughs> well, Pinball's alright, but it only had three scenes because the game's so short they've got nothing to. They're like, oh, here's the highlight. It just comes up with, well, it's yeah. fucking Pinball, mate. Well, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like, here's the Pinball's. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, you get it. You know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, fucking pinball, you ice take climber. Some time out from pinball to go knock a ball around. To be, you don't you think there's a bunch of like considered <laughs> NES classics that I think are just old games? Yeah, they're not yeah. really classics. They're yeah, just... like ice hockey. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, no, no, that one's. What's uh, it what's it's kind of well, like Tecmo ice hockey. No, no, I think Nintendo did one themselves, and it had yeah. like a fat, skinny, and tiny characters of like your yeah. team or something. That was actually there was yeah, that, yeah. There was... Well, no, that wasn't on the like list. But, uh, they've got. There was... I ended up getting 
uh, Kid Icarus, which I can't fucking stand. That game just <laughs> Do you know dull that's why that's people... What are you talking about? That's a classic, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that's a classic, yeah, apparently. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, what the music in that game is a bit garbage. I know. That's How dare you talk about it? But in dark clothes, <laughs> called in dark pit. Yeah. I still want to like... try like the 3DS <laughs> game. That apparently, that's <laughs> apparently quite good, like that. I was just going to say a little oh, yeah. trivia. Yeah. Um, you know, people call a fight a throw down. That yeah. comes from hockey because they throw their gloves down. Uh, mm. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, one thing I found out about that amiibo thing as well is if you go into your data management and delete the ami- amiibo tap and whatever, <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, um, save file, and then go back into the game, all the amiibos will give you different games. Ooh. So you could just keep messing around oh. like deleting the save until you get the games you want oh, well, but the first time I did it though when I put my Kirby amiibo on I actually got Kirby Superstar so I was like oh, wow. that was a really good one as well because again yeah, I was really like, lucky the final I? boss and, <laughs> yeah yeah got really, yeah you got really lucky with your well, Mega Man 1 gave me Super Metroid yes that makes sense <laughs> And my you... Metroid 1 gave me Zelda <laughs> and then my Mario 1 gave me Kirby <laughs> yeah yeah I was pretty chuffed with that yeah that was really good oh <laughs> yeah um you know when we was playing uh, Ooh, one of them, we scanned in and we got um, Kirby oh, Crazy Chuffed. Course, the uh, golf game. Yeah. It's a really fucking good game. Um, <laughs> you, do you remember we noticed at the bottom of the screen it actually had like a little Amiibo logo in the game? Really? Yeah, it had like the little A with the dashes on it. Yes. And we were yeah. wondering why that was. Uh, and I found out why crazy. now because I just remembered that when you start a new file in um, Kirby Crazy Course, you, you, can, you can actually draw your own little symbol. Right. Like you can actually just move the D-pad around well, and draw I'm your own little draw symbols. So that's what they've done. They've made a save state where they've actually recreated the Amiibo logo inside oh. the game. It's really clever. It's <laughs> so really like a cute little touch. Yeah. 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 I am yeah. really so cool. going to draw a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever. I yeah. like that. A Kirby, yeah, Kirby Crazy Course is probably one of my favourite ones that popped up on there. <laughs> oh, right. Like, yeah, obviously there's quite a few good games on there. Obviously you can get Mario Kart, you can get F-Zero... Punch out, I'm trying yeah. to think about other ones. <laughs> uh, trying to get to a little bit of ice at the bottom <laughs> of the drink. And you can get like. Being a little devil. Oh, yeah, one of the other ones I kept getting Ow. was uh, Zelda <laughs> 2, which I don't really care for either. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a lot of games that, you know, a lot of people like, and I can understand why they like it, but I'm not really crazy on them. Zelda 2 is just a um, sort of torture that you put yourself through. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I, I, like I could get as far as finding <laughs> Mr. I am error and then that's all. What a I'm horrible night for a horrible fucking goon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a grind. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> like, right, everyone loved Castlevania, right, but I think they'll like it even more if there was grinding and really nasty um, puzzle solving. Yeah. Hmm. Which wasn't really a puzzle, it was just a dickhead thing you had well, to do. Well, it was basically, <laughs> if you don't have Nintendo Power or the internet, then yeah. it's Yeah. <laughs> Basically, right, there's a bit in Castlevania 2 where you had to stand in front of a mountain and duck facing yeah. the mountain for a couple of it's seconds. It's pretty infamous now. <laughs> yeah, because everyone knows, everyone thought of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what might work if I just do, if I just squat down here well, and take a little shit? Me. What's going on? It <laughs> sounds so annoying me because a lot of it was just like, right, can I jump through this same bit of wall? <laughs> oh, I can, good. <laughs> Is it possible, like, and when you get to that bit and you crouch it. down, yeah. but you don't know what's going to happen and the tornado comes along, you'll be like, oh, shit, there's a tornado, I've got to avoid it. <laughs> you try to get away from it. <laughs> I think it's more like a little movie sequence. Yeah, <laughs> I think it just, like, s- sticks you there, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of that. <laughs> it reminds me of the warp whistle from Mario. <laughs> Which does well, a, it's a little tune, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> so yeah, that amiibo tap thing, if it, it's free, hey, so like yeah. it's basically yeah, it, that in the case of some of the games on there, like I, I, I managed to get Excite Bike with my Sonic amiibo. Oh, which how is really exciting! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love Excite Bike. That's actually one of the old NES games I do really like. Yeah. And uh, we in the Classic. case of quite a few of those games on there. To be honest, the stuff they give you with the just the scenes is enough. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't even need to buy them. Because yeah. <laughs> some of those games are so short anyway. I'm surprised they didn't put fucking Urban Champion on there. <laughs> There'd be like, one scene, uh, you punch a guy into a manhole, the end, that's the whole game. That is literally the whole game. <laughs> it just goes around in circles forever. You can beat it in, like, a minute. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, yeah, there's a reason they haven't put that on there. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Um, Very interesting Yeah, it's really stuff. cool. And it's, you know, free, so it's... 
cool. Yep. It's just a cool little thing, you know. I totally, People were just uh, saying, oh, why don't they just give us the full games and stuff like that? It's like, well, because cause... they cost money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does... The only thing that kind of bugged me about them is like the NES games, like the emulation doesn't look very... Yeah, the, really really the colours are a bit dark. Yeah, well, the colours are quite dark on a lot of the virtual console stuff. I even found out with Mario 64, they look a bit... Yeah, mm. a bit greyish. Like, yeah. all the whites look a bit greyish. Bit of a shade. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. They but, could use yeah. some Daz. <laughs> Put some Daz in your virtual console. <laughs> uh, well, mine's not going to take very long because I've not really been playing too much lately. Cool. Let's um, have a track. <laughs> yeah. I've been playing uh, a little bit of State of Decay, which I think I did go on about before in the past quite a lot. Uh, 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 that's funny. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, Aaron's all burpy. <laughs> <laughs> Must be all the weird. <laughs> All the willies in me bum. <laughs> me bum. <laughs> I heard they make you burp. <laughs> From the inside. <laughs> uh, oh, so I've been playing so, State of Decay. Yeah, um, just been playing a bit of State of Decay. I have gone into it in the past in quite a lot of depth, and I'm kind of hoping to do a video on it anyway. So all I will say is. It's a game that I do keep coming back to. It's um, very cleverly made in a way where, uh, especially with this, this first bit of DLC, is a mode that basically just doesn't end. <laughs> the only way it ends is if you just get all your survivors killed, which is actually quite a bit of work to do. <laughs> to kill off all your survivors is quite hard. You have to actually just go around and just go and kill them. Because <laughs> if you just leave them to die on their own, they take about three real days to actually die. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, well, I want to actually get off this game now. <laughs> yeah. Come on, yeah. Well, basically, um, well, I mainly just talk about this first bit of DLC breakdown mode because I really like it. Basically, the way it works is you have the whole game map. It's a very big map. It takes a long time if you want to actually physically, because uh, everything in the game is permanent. It runs out, so all the vehicles in the game once they get destroyed, they're gone for forever. Um, oh. Every house uh, that you like, basically, you go into a house and you look in all the containers and you take all the stuff you can get. And you take it back to your home base. Well, every house can be emptied. It has a little X on base. it. <laughs> yeah. Or Halfords. Or being cute. <laughs> um, Halfords? Yeah, Halfords. It's a different thing. Like no, it's Halfords not. It's all vehicles. And... No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No. It really is. It is. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell! Yeah, take it to car phone warehouse because that's where they sell cars. <laughs> oh, I'll, go, I'll go buy a car there. <laughs> oh, oh. Store stuff because it's a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> so anyway. Um, all the houses they get like X'd off on the map so you end up with like the whole map just full of X's there's nothing left yet. like all a your... pedo's house on Google Earth <laughs> 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 yeah like my, like, 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 a... <laughs> like other people's houses on Google Earth <laughs> <laughs> like my um, like <laughs> fuck <laughs> don't look up my house <laughs> uh, so <laughs> Anyway, you can get through a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, all, all the places are done, um, and your your supplies will eventually just go, and you and then you will officially die. But what you do is you have the ability to find an RV in, on the map, and you do a couple of things to fix it up and get it ready to leave. And basically, what you mean by just leaving, <laughs> yeah, what you means by leaving the map is basically what it does is it resets the whole map again. So you you, you escape to the same map, another version of the same <laughs> map, uh, and it all just refreshes. But the difficulty goes up by one, oh. and the difficulty jump is quite a bit as well. And it goes up to about sixteen difficulty and stays there. But you Whoa. you can keep resetting the map and lasting forever, except that the, it's really hard. And I just think that's such a cool like game mode because it um. It was like Dead Rising, they had an infinite mode, but again, everything was permanent and you could, you know, you eventually run out of all the food and you die. But this game literally does go on forever because they just reset the map and make it harder. So um, I've I've done all like, the achievement related stuff of it and so now I've started again and I'm actually going for the full on survival thing and I've been playing it for like the last few weeks solid. <laughs> you know what's really bad? This is really bad of me. When you first uttered the words 
state of decay. I thought you said I thought you meant state of emergency. Oh god, oh, that, 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 that awful that really rock star shit rockstar game. game. That yeah. one where you basically play as like oh, I don't know. punching people and everyone's running around and that's I'm about to, I'm it. To what the character reminds me of, like. Don't know. He looks a bit like Fiddy said, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, <laughs> Fiddy, Fiddy sense. Mister Five Zero P. <laughs> um, I remember playing that for like yeah, you, half you hour. It was terrible. You play as him or something. Run around, punch, and man. you um, you go around chaving it up. Yeah, like Rockstar trying to do an arcade game. It was kind of. Yeah. <laughs> And it was obviously before Grand Theft Auto 3, and it was before they knew how to do 3D. Has <laughs> <laughs> anyone know. ever played The Warriors that Rockstar did? Apparently that, uh, was, that was really but, arcade. But that just reminded me. That was one of the games I played this week. Really? Yeah. How I weird is up. that? Oh, I wrote that down and everything, and I was almost, I almost just was gonna leave it till next week. Oh, but I did briefly play that this week. Well, apparently that's really arcade. I picked it up for a quid. Is, is it good? Because I thought it, was... it seemed alright to me. The yeah. combat seems similar to Bullies a little bit. I entered really? the competition when that game kind came of. out. I obviously I did win, but basically what you won was that game in an arcade game that like looked wow. really eighties looking arcade wow. game. Wow. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I only played it briefly just to make sure. It yeah, apparently it's like quite arcadey. Like How maybe this kind of. Like Rocks, yeah, it's kind of like if Rockstar did a Streets of Rage, kind of. How did you enter that contest? Did you have to come out to play? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to stick bottles on my fingers. Uh, you I really just said it meant to me because I only played it for like half hour. I didn't win because I couldn't dig it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, I'll have to yeah. show you it. Can you bring it you can get it really chance. cheap now. I mean, I yeah. picked my copy up for a quid. So. Did you get it on the PS2? Yeah, yeah. Uh, PS2, yeah. yeah. Was it I on anything else? I can't remember. It, it may Xbox? have come out on like the GameCube and Xbox. Yeah, it definitely was on oh, GameCube. No GameCube. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Maybe it was just PS2 then, I don't know. No, I don't know. But yeah, I just picked it up for a quid. Yeah, that's really point. weird. Yeah. I only played it briefly, so it wasn't I, might bring, I wasn't going to bring it up, but then you brought it up. So. That, is, that is quite <laughs> weird. That's quite spoopy. <laughs> it's too, too spoopy. <laughs> too spoopy. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, um, I'm not going to go on much more on about State of the K except for that DLC. The first DLC was called Breakdown. That's the one I'm mentioning in the Endless Mode, and it's really fun. Oh, yeah, sorry, you just reminded me. Um, <laughs> I had an amazing dream a little while ago. <laughs> you know Skyrim's legendary update? Yeah. I basically had a dream where that was introduced into a, a fuck bunch of games. And one of those <laughs> games was, one of those games was Borderlands, and it really worked. It would work. It would. It was like they, um, they upped... Some of the perks, like certain perks would be overpowered, so they cap at five like they should. But some of the perks could go up like infinitely. Like just the little perks, like, you know, health. <laughs> Did the dream just get increasingly weird? And like at the one point there was just a legendary edition for like action fighter on the Mars system or something. Which <laughs> is like, oh, okay, now they're getting a bit silly. Yeah, okay, going no, all up. no my, my dreams are very tame usually. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's basically stuff I want. Yeah, yeah, it was, I, I'll it was get just that. They, they abandoned the level cap, and because the enemy scaling in you know the third playthrough is just enemies scale to one or two levels above you anyway. Yeah, and it really worked. It, with Borderlands, it would work. Fucking in fact, haven't it. you said before that people have actually made um, like mods where it does that kind of thing, where it, uh, it goes like level? No. <laughs> no? No, I, I, I must have told you about the dream before. Then. That was probably another dream. About <laughs> I could have sworn you said there are some mods out there where that no, kind of thing. That would be amazing. Thing. Yeah. No, I, I think I yeah, was I've looking for... Like that I remember I was looking for a legendary mod for Oblivion. Uh, yeah, Oblivion. I was trying to see if someone had done it. Because, like, just, just make the legendary system on other games. I kind of... It's literally just removing the level cap and maybe making the perks go up a few more. Like, they don't have to be infinite. Yeah. Like, you can make a perk that used to go up by five levels now go up by 20 or 30. Or yeah. Something. I kind of do that myself on Morrowind. Like, just um, go to prison. <laughs> no, on Morrowind, there's a sort of... It's the only sort of thing you'll see me use in the console box. So, basically, all I do is, once I've maxed out a skill, I just, in the console box, make it go back down to five and start again. <laughs> but you don't need to do that, because if you wanted to train it just, like, through paying for training, then um, if you see a master trainer, he can uh, yes, continue to train you, but I, it's fuck expensive. That's the, that's the method I wanted to use, but in the patched-up version I've got, they've mm. stopped that. <laughs> Stop playing fucking 
ooh, graphics overhaul. Ooh. <laughs> it, for me, I personally feel like it flies in the face of the original charm of Morrowind. Yeah, but it's not just graphics. I wanted to it watch adds, a Let's Play the other day. I was like, I'm going to have a look for a Morrowind Let's Play just to give me a bit of background noise while I'm fucking grinding on Terraria. <laughs> and, um... All I could find was, hey, oh, I think I'm going to be doing a play of the Morrowind Overhaul. I was like, can I just have the original? Well, well, that's that's what it is in the game. Fog Off was, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, some fucker took my ring and I'm going to find out who. <laughs> Wait a minute, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why don't you fog off, you prick? <laughs> but basically, the reason I like it is not only does it make the graphics yeah. look stunning, <laughs> yes, yeah, we got it, uh, but it also adds like. It's, it's 50, nice gimmick, 60 it's other mods that really balance the game out, and mm. I love it. Yeah, no. I'm not, <laughs> what are we not, talking not, about again? I'm not trying to lessen I'm people's just like, hard it up. hard work. Like going on about dreams. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm borrowing. I never again. Borrowing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome I'm, to Lucky Hit, the inevitable borrowing <laughs> podcast. <laughs> you fucking love it, you whores. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lessen people's hard work like, you know, great job guys, really, like the overhaul stuff, fantastic. But for me personally, I, I would just rather like spend the rest of my existence <laughs> playing the vanilla game, you know? In fact no, there's one mod I use, it's the leveled magical one. Oh, uh, not the one with the bollocks. <laughs> not the one with the dogs hanging no, out. No, no. Uh, I don't see, see that point. comes that that comes as standard on the graphics overhaul, and I was just like, oh, wheelies! <laughs> <laughs> I love that because I saw the one. It's like um, the Nord. Yeah. The Nord has okay. the big old swinging meat. We have added a patch update for me. And, um, I always play as the Wood Elf, so yeah, he had the, the tiny. Wood. He's like, the tiny little games are meant to be escapism. <laughs> Don't give me a tiny bully. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play a realistic game. Fuck you, Elf. <laughs> but yeah, no. Oh, no. oh, and he doesn't last very long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only a matter of time before someone makes like a Bioware update where it's like, oh, oh no. Like an six You know that has like, already happened on the. Um, Skyrim on yeah. Steam. There's an extra option. When go- whether you're a male or female, when the guard comes up to you and he goes, oh, you have violated the law, you can come up with an option which is, I'm sure we can work something out. And then, yeah, um, uh, they, they go to a security law, location which just happens me? to be... Yeah, yeah, you can violate <laughs> my laws. <laughs> my laws, I mean... The and China. physics. <laughs> yeah, but apparently, like, they go to a security location together and suddenly the guards, like, trousers, like, fall off and they've got direct <laughs> penises oh, already. And the secluded location is just sort of against the wall in front of plain view with kids running around and everything. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Just different like times. <laughs> this is well. how it's done, this guy. <laughs> I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> you love it, you whore. <laughs> Say my name. Oh, random guard. <laughs> oh, my God. Sex is almost always the most awkward thing in a game ever. So why would really you ever think patch it, it in? I don't really think why it would you ever mod it in? It's pathetic. It's really. always really I was going to and come sad. and then I raised my knee. This makes me just want to turn the game off when I yeah. do that. I know, Dragon Age, it really like... It just, just, oh, fuck off. It's just like it just distracts from the game. You're like... You're trying From to what I've seen, to get, like, achievements and stuff in that. Oh, you got to sleep with your sexy. Yeah. Well, what what I've seen of Bioshock. Oh, yeah, I'm twelve. <laughs> From what I've seen of Bioshock games, it seems to be like they've got a, a normal game, and it's sort of tacked on to this game. It's one of those Japanese dating sims. <laughs> Is that about right? Because <laughs> you got yeah. a, you got no, not that one. <laughs> That's not a dating <laughs> sim. <laughs> It is if you it's use a your imagination. <laughs> your imagination. This is a fun day. <laughs> oh, I'm having a great time. <laughs> Fuck you, know. No, you know those dating sims where you've got to say the right things and then they giggle and go, oh, you're so funny, big brother. <laughs> big sibling, blood relative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those kind of things. And if you if you say the right things a lot of times, then you get like some sequence where they go off and and um, yeah, like, like the innocent ones in Japan, they they just they just um, go out basically, and then it it fades out and says, oh, they had a wonderful relationship. And together. then he saw her panties and oh. his nose bled for some 
reasons. <laughs> Why does that? Ha- does that like? Is that a thing? I don't is Japanese think. anatomy different to? Us? <laughs> like, is it literally they, we get aroused and the blood rushes to the penis and whatnot? In, in Japan, it rushes straight out of their nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> they literally sat on a bus and they're just like, just in their own minds, just imagining away a nice, you know. Th- young lady and then all of a sudden <laughs> help and everyone on the train goes you dirty cat you, uh, uh, <laughs> you can't help me <laughs> you, you, I'm gonna die <laughs> this is coming straight from my brain <laughs> so are we are we done with what we've been playing yeah we yeah. go for about an hour <laughs> God damn. Let's have another Twonky tune. Yeah. Twonky tune. Twonky <laughs> tune. Yeah, that do. <laughs> Baby now. <laughs> Hello! Is it me you're looking for? Um, that was for Icy Place from Terraria. <laughs> I think the song's literally just called yeah. Ice. <laughs> Something like that. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was good. It was a nice atmospheric sort of. Yeah, it's quite ice. Ice. Just one ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. um. Pleasant, something. and then got a bit kind of I don't know, maybe a bit creepy towards the end. Yeah, it's quite, yeah. Like, it's quite, quite other wor- otherworldly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the the icy place in that game is one of the more sort of annoying Cold. to traverse. <laughs> 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 like, it's not the most difficult by any stretch, but it's just quite annoying Open to again, traverse. Free isn't ice it? level, the um, lava level after it, <laughs> and then the casino um, level. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and then hilltop zone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's um, there is a lovely place. There's, there's hell. Right? There's hell. Yeah, there's you a know, there's hell. Hell. Right? <laughs> 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 Gunsmackers. Uh, yeah, no, uh, icy place. I spent a lot of time in the icy place. Um, farming these fucking pricks to get a um, ice sickle, which is a really good weapon. <laughs> really good weapon. Ice and sickle. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Made that joke twice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have a main topic this week. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm we've nervously. We've, <laughs> I'm, reply, I'm like replying nervously. <laughs> um, like yeah, this victim. seems to be a thing that keeps coming up when we used to do, like gaming news and stuff and I thought yeah. it's really kind of really taken off in the last few weeks actually just the last like two or three weeks it's yeah. just been an explosion of this kind of stuff basically kind of uh, <laughs> I'm not even sure what to really coin this as I know most people would call it something like spiritual revivals or something yeah, like that I, think that's I, I like to just call them because of the first one I can think of. I just like to call them not Mega Man's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the not Mega Basically Man just going off and going, I'm just gonna go make my own this <laughs> without the 
name of it. I'll just make a knockoff of it. But it's, you know, my creations or yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. I don't own the IP, my but creation. I can just go off and just make another one anyway. <laughs> yeah. Just name it. Really is taking off now, this, this movie. Yeah. <laughs> it, all, it all started, obviously, with a Mighty Number no. 9 on Kickstarter. Yeah. Like the sort of Mega Man. Mega Man thing. fell into obscurity, and then the creator decided to. Uh, Thanks to a certain Jump company ship. that... You know, Big Smoke's going to love that game. So, Big Smoke's going to love that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big old number nine. Yeah. Man, you number nine. And a large super. <laughs> yeah, um, the game has actually got a release date now. Ooh, I think it did it? actually get... Um, Wasn't it 50? Yeah. Uh, September 15th. Yeah, yeah and it's actually going to have a retail release. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's actually... I think that's one of the reasons they delayed it, is so they could actually... I think it's going to be published by uh, Deep Silver here in... Mm. Uh, I don't know if it's got an American release yet, okay. but it's definitely got, like, a UK one. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be 15 quid as a download, and it's going to be 25 quid as retail, but then it also that's include... Yeah, I think they're also adding some, like, DLC... That would be a separate price on download, but they're adding that with the disc. And obviously, I, it's a physical. Yeah, copy, I'm a big fan so. of owning things physically. And it's got a really can. fucking nice box art as well. Yes, Have you seen the box art? It does there? look sexy. It's really nice. <laughs> it look really good on. And so, it's going to be on, I think it's PS4, Xbox One, PS3, maybe, and also Wii U. Wii U. So, I'm yeah. going to be getting it on the Wii U. Um, <laughs> they were also planning to release this game on the feet or in the 3DS and I think it's been delayed because basically they have to build a new version of the game oh, yeah. to downscale it, it to like, like a race like a, car yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it does come out on the 3DS as well I think I will grab that yeah I think well. <laughs> it's going they, they definitely announced that it was going to happen but they just said it's going to have to be after because they basically have to rebuild yeah because I think it was on like I can't well, remember if it was rebuild. Unreal Engine or but something who like that. lead us in the rebuilding process <laughs> 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 so yeah that's uh finally going to be happening it's kind of interesting because it's not even just that game because like inti creates was the uh Ooh. developer of this and yeah uh, the company that uh what's the creator of Mega Man's name again i always like, forget his bloody <laughs> name it's only one of yeah. my bloody heroes <laughs> <laughs> but yeah he, he set up a company called um concept even the name of his company yeah. is it's basically like concap yeah <laughs> This is Comcap, yeah? All right. <laughs> Mock pack. Not, not Capcom, you dicks. <laughs> my own one, my own Capcom, all for my me. My own Capcom. Capital Computers. I'll make my own Capcom with blackjack and hookers, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blackjack. Yeah. So, yeah, you could call that a spiritual revival. And I think it's very... I got um, the future armor. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's a very clever way of doing it because you know exactly. if no one's going to use your IP, you might as well just pretty much tell all your fans to go bollocks. <laughs> go bollocks. <laughs> no, you know, come with me. I'll carry it on for you, but we just can't call him by Mega Man anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, because so you know, Capcom more, are doing yeah. so <laughs> much with Mega Man right now. You call him Superman. The best thing Capcom's done yeah. with Mega Man in recent years is allow him to be in Smash Bros. Basically, just <laughs> allow Nintendo to actually do something. Yeah. <laughs> a lot yeah. of people, aren't there, at the moment, are saying that Nintendo should have Mega Man. Like, well, yeah. People say that for everything. <laughs> people, people say Nintendo should buy out Sega. That would be a fucking terrible idea. <laughs> but, you know... What does Genesis people... do now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be an awful idea, <laughs> personally. But, Genesis yeah. does whatever he's told. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis does weird stuff for food. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. mean. <laughs> and no, partially, true. Right. True. Okay. partially true. <laughs> it's all right. You saved the Mega Man and the Mega Drive. I did, didn't right. I? I kept you it the alive. Man <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're the human defibrillator. You later. <laughs> yeah. Not only did uh, Integrate design later. not Mega Man, they also designed <laughs> not Mega Man X in. Uh, Mighty, yeah, that Mighty was Mighty 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 as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's the same company. It's I always grabbed that because it's kind of Mega Man X ish, or is yeah. it Mega Man Zero? No, it really looks like, it, yeah, is it, it looks like a mix between Mega Man X and Zero, yeah, it's yeah. got that kind of gritty, <laughs> from Mega Man Zero. Quite, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, in a world where and it's, oh, there's fucking it's got like a <laughs> <laughs> anime bloke with a ponytail. Yeah. 
The only thing I'll say... Not a gun from an arm, just a gun in his hands. Gunvolt, uh, Mighty Gunvolt looks really damn good, but um, Mm. and I I mainly want it for that DLC that you get. Oh, the bonus free game. Yeah, it's just called like Gunvolt, isn't it? I think they're actually going to start selling that separate as well. Uh, And it's basically the Mighty Gunvolt character... Beck from um, yeah. Mighty Number no. Nine, <laughs> and then some other characters from something or other, and then it's like an NES game. Yeah. <laughs> so they're just doing it's like we've we've made done Ma- not we've done a not Mega Man, we've do- we've done the not Mega Man revival, we've done not Mega Man X, and now we've done a crossover of the not Mega Mans in a not <laughs> NES game. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a it's yeah pretty special. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, I was watching the trailer for the. Mighty Gumball, and I'll just say it looks like a fantastic game, but it also like it's it's pretty. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of an, a word that's not going to be like insulting, but it's a bit kind of like. Sorry, it's weeaboo. <laughs> okay, fuck it. It's a bit weeaboo. <laughs> it's like. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'll have to show you the trailer later, but yeah, it even Ugh. opens up. It opens up with like in a world. Of course, it would. Yeah. Did you hear the yeah. game theory that the character from Mighty Number no. Nine is called Beck because he's an alternative rock? <laughs> that is quite <laughs> clever. That is quite oh, clever. Yeah. I have heard yeah. that actually. Yeah. yeah, he's alternative rock. Thank <laughs> you. But they've even got a role character as well, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, they have. So they did um, when they were doing the Kickstarter. They well, actually had twelve like... bar blues or something. <laughs> <laughs> she's called Symbol, I don't know. I don't know. I think she's called Cool, actually. Cool. Something like that. As in C-A-L. Cool. Yeah, it's C-A-L-L. But um, yeah, they actually did like a poll where they actually got loads of different character designers to design the not roll. And the one that got the most votes was the one that looked the most exactly. like Roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She had like the same really, blonde really hair, does. pretty much just longer hair, same kind of dress, pretty much. There was loads of other designs that I thought were actually even cooler, but like, they, they pretty much went with the not Roll. No, no, stick with the one that's the most insulting. The one that will, you know, <laughs> kept Capcom in the teeth the most. Here's what I'll do, I'll, put a, I'll get a big stick and put a bit of poo on the end and stick it in their eyes. <laughs> But they'll get pink eye. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's that. And so there's also obviously that's more. all happened. Um, just a few weeks ago, uh, well, I guess I could also mention Toe Jam and L, but that's slightly different because unusually the guys that created Toe Jam and L actually own the IP yeah, themselves. Yeah, which is really They actually own really their rare. own characters, yeah. which is really rare. I wonder how they swung that. Uh, I think it was something to do with when they went and pitched it to them. Sega were just desperate for new games. They were just like, right. oh, whatever, we just, we just need new games on our system, so they just let them do that. Um... So yeah, um, that new Toe Jam and L is obviously not being made with Sega. Sega still owns obviously the Mega Drive code and right. the uh, graphics and all that kind of stuff. So they can't use any of the original graphics okay. and stuff like that. But yeah, um, that's kind of unusual that one because of that. Yeah. Um, there was also an attempt at a spiritual uh, revival of Echo the Dolphin. Like the creator <laughs> of Echo did actually want to make a, a new 3D game, kind of like the Dreamcast one, but it was going to make it much bigger. Like it, would, it wouldn't just be dolphins, it would be like other sea life. And it was going to be like open reverb world. Reverb the orca. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was just something really vague, like Project Blue Sea or something like that. I can't remember. <laughs> but it didn't really, I don't think it really, I don't think it got funded. I think they ended up cancelling it or something like that. It didn't really take off. <laughs> it's probably because most people went, you remember Echo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah kind I'm of, not yeah. that against Echo. I think it's quite, nah, I think it's quite a unique game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I shit at it. Though. It is boring. Um, <laughs> just a few it weeks it ago. sucks. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, there's, there's people that could go on and on and on and on about how much Rare basically got fucked over by being bought yeah. out by Microsoft. They pretty much sucked all the creative life out of them and just it's forced much them to happened. make yeah. pretty much just forced them to make connect sports games yeah. and like pretty much all the talent ended up leaving mm. and now all of that talent's basically in the last year formed a new company called Playtron Playtonic Games yeah. and um, they've find they've said for ages that they wanted to basically go back to making the kind of games they used to make on the N sixty four. Yeah. And just a few weeks ago they basically revealed what that's gonna be. And again it was a Kickstarter mm. to, you know, get a- awareness for it. And basically they're making a spiritual uh oh whatever, a not Mega Man. They're making a not Banjo kazooie basically. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, obviously Banjo kazooies not 
a game I've particularly played a lot, and yeah. because I never had an N sixty four, so I was never really. Um, I, I'm not nostalgic for them, but I know yeah. that a lot of people are. Exactly, like, yeah. It's I mean, a it's huge. Not, I, thing, I did. Like, I did have a little go. It wasn't really for me personally, but a lot of. It's yeah, a huge. Yeah fucking game you know it's a really big deal for N64 fans and all yeah. that kind of stuff and especially after they did make a new Banjo-Kazooie on the 360 and it wasn't what people wanted it wasn't a traditional plat- 3D platformer it was like a build cars and drive around <laughs> thing yeah. okay and yeah it, it even the game even starts like mocking like the original games it's like oh, oh just like <laughs> taking the piss basically Jesus. out of the old games and people were really bitter about it but basically um, this new game it's pretty much the same concept, but again, it's different creatures. Yeah, yeah. They've gone for like a different duo of animals. Obviously, the original was a bear and it had like a bird on its back. Yeah. This one's like a chameleon and it's got like a bat on its back. <laughs> and it's called Ukulele. Yeah. When they first like were hinting at it, they were saying, oh, Project Ukulele, we go, we, you know, as one word. <laughs> yeah. And then when they revealed it, it was Ukulele. <laughs> So one of them's called Lightly. Yuka, one of them is like spelt it's funny. Mandarin. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Fuvu and Zila. <laughs> <laughs> when they get really desperate. Best noise ever. Yep. Do um, that for half an hour. You won't be considered an obnoxious cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I always just find them things synonymous with one of the World Ooh, Cups. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing was me. It's just that. It's just forever. a droning me. Why? Yeah. Why? Like a, it's like a seriously a large amount of bees hanging around every match <laughs> on someone's bike. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Who left their house and went. Ah, oh, watch some football tonight. Right, where's my annoying fucking noise making thing? <laughs> <laughs> Me and the hundred fans. What the one that goes? What it is? <laughs> no, that one's not annoying enough. No, that's oh, not. Oh, that was that cool. Annoying. I think it was just called like clackers or something like yeah. that. Like it, Uncle Spinny <laughs> What was the Everything. point of those? Again, it was the same thing. It was I need a noise that noise. sounds like someone's. Word I bear, obnoxious noisy cunt. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Maybe it's, to, maybe it's actually to drown out the uh, songs or something. Yeah. yeah. Like the singing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, you, you get thousands you of people doing that. It just sounds like static. One thing you notice with like a lot of the Kickstarters <laughs> with these kind of games, like Mighty Number no. 9, is when they first showed it, obviously they didn't have much to show. They just yeah. had a bit of concept art. And I think a few people have actually been a bit disappointed with how it ended up looking because it doesn't look anything like the concept yeah. art, which is kind of be, to be expected. Because even all that game made like millions on Kickstarter and they had to put additional funding on it. <laughs> yeah. Games are fucking expensive to make. You can't just make them on a couple million and expect a game that looks as good as something Capcom could just chuck out every year. Yeah. Like, because yeah. they've got money. Yeah. Whereas Concept and Integrate are much smaller, you know. It doesn't matter things. whether it's 2D or if it's a big old fancy 3D project. Yeah. It's, it's going to take, to cost it's money. Gonna take millions and millions. It's going to take two years yeah, uh, I mean it's just simple mathematics. A lot I mean, of people have got to pay for an entire team's wages. Yeah, I mean, with the Kickstarter, like with the, with, yeah, with the <laughs> Kickstarters, a lot of people just moan once they haven't got the game in a year. It's like, well, they started making yeah. it when the Kickstarter ended, <laughs> so like you can't expect it to come out overnight. But uh, the ukulele one, they've gone about it quite differently, and it's actually really done to their benefit. Basically, they for one, they started funding it themselves. They've been yeah. working like for the last. I think they've been like building up the money for the last year okay. to start it themselves so personally and the uh, Kickstarter was pretty much just like a a way of like boosting it up. Yeah. But they before they actually launched the Kickstarter, they spent three months building a prototype of like level designs. They actually got the characters fully animated, actually programmed <laughs> and moving. See so that I really appreciate it. So that. yeah, when they launched the Kickstarter, they already had yeah. Like, full gameplay to show. Obviously, yep. it was just, like, one level. They had, like, day and night. I don't think there was any enemies in the actual, like, footage, but there was in, like, screenshots. Uh-huh. But, like, they actually showed the characters how they would move, how yeah. their attacks work, and all that kind of stuff. They actually showed a game. You yeah. know, it actually looked 
like a game and a really fucking good one as well. Oh, wow. It looks amazing. Like I will have a look at. Like yeah. it kind of like you know like how Donkey Kong Country's backgrounds look like. It's like how you imagine that in actual three yeah. D. It actually <laughs> looks like they've finally got that <laughs> sort of style and brought it into modern. But it also looks nicer than that. I think oh, they've yeah. they've really improved. They've got a lot of the same artists that worked on all that older stuff, but they've really improved their game. I think the you know like the character designs are quite cool and like. I don't know, just really beautiful scenery in it and stuff like that. Yeah. It looks like... So well, that is definitely the way to do it, though. You yeah. You've got to have something to you've show. Got to have you remember something. that James Pond? <laughs> yeah, they literally had nothing. Yeah. They didn't even have concept art. They All they went, had was a crap name. <laughs> they, just had, they just had a webcam of the guy going, oh, sh- oh I could do a James Pond. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was basically... <laughs> I could probably do your James Bond. <laughs> that is basically what it was. <laughs> it was. I could it was do like, James Bond. James I could Bond. Do kidney pie. <laughs> I could I'm down with a bottle of chip shot. <laughs> it really was. That was honestly it. It was so bare bones. I could do your Nickelback Glory. <laughs> so I could do your Bond and Mash with liquor. Do you think they have Nickelback Glory holes in Cockney London? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a normal glory hole, but like you get some jelly. <laughs> <laughs> they just they just they just push jelly through the hole and you just got like you just, this, like, just your open mouth yeah, underneath. You, no, you just hold your little, um, your little, you know, they, they <laughs> glasses, don't they? Yeah. Oh, but there's the jelly the, one. It's still in the there's toilet. There's the banana there, one. Don't put your willy through, you <laughs> funny man. Oh, <laughs> you give me every time. <laughs> when it comes to spray cream, <laughs> <laughs> through the wall pop, in pop. a public <laughs> toilet. <laughs> Two and jellies on the face, pop, <laughs> pop. <laughs> and there's the cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Ah, oh, tastes like piss. <laughs> oh, why does everything taste like piss? We're in a public toilet, mate. Yeah, this was a stupid idea. Yeah, yeah. it's all just like, you know, do you wanna, urine do, and feces in the air. Do you want to fuck through the hole? <laughs> no, not really. All right. That's not what oh we're God. all about. <laughs> uh, you got any more jelly? <laughs> Glory. We're not going to fuck through the Nickelbocker glory. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Don't be so foul. If you want to do that sort of thing, you do it in the privacy of your own bedroom, not in a public toilet through a hole. <laughs> this is, we, this is a place for desserts. <laughs> this is a Simple, place. clean, innocent desserts. Oh, maybe not clean. <laughs> Simple. Or if you want to, you know, go to the toilet. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah, have a bit of a poo. Have a bit of, <laughs> have a bit of like, ice cream treat. <laughs> Are you done? Where did that all come I think from? We cool. It all came from the middle of the glory hole. That was special. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite amazing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So, I forgot where we were. Something, we were talking about the nice like, Yeah, the family the fun. nice family fun. <laughs> the tonic thing of a joke. So yeah, um, <laughs> both having this really well put together kickstart where they actually show uh, what a game could look like, plus possibly must have been hundreds of thousands of like really bitter fans that are <laughs> sick of Rare and yeah. sick of them basically screwing them over and not yeah. doing I mean like you've seen the most recent thing they've done to <sighs> try and appease Rare fans no. they put Conker into Project Spark really? Yeah, yeah you remember that it was right at the oh, end oh yeah, yeah. The like, free thing I'm here too yeah, yeah they revealed what it actually is it's just like Ooh. level packs where it's just yeah. uh, and he doesn't Ooh. even look right he's got like really dead eyes I'm, a, I'm more of a backhand I'm, car- I'm the carcass of Conker <laughs> they dragged me out of the grave to try and appease you. I barely look like I did on the N64 somehow. I look even worse. It's a nightmare vision, though. You've just been held up by streams. He pretty much does look that way. Right. He's, most, of his, <laughs> most of his skin is necrotized off. <laughs> he's just... <Yeah. laughs> oh, he's all, like, puffed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like he pulled some content. So as you can imagine, all those fans that have just been like course. after a new yeah. Banjo Kazooie thing. I know, I know, I know quite a few friends that are just mad for like Banjo yeah. Kazooie. I know a couple that actually cosplayed as them one time. Oh, wow. <laughs> and really bloody good costumes as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was the fastest 
selling Kickstarter <laughs> of all time. No, oh, no, it it still is. It oh, is okay. actually it broke the record of oh. any Kickstarter as far as I know. Or Didn't at least the game like, ones. Really quick. Uh, they were after 175,000. Yeah. They got that in seconds. 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 Or seconds. maybe minutes, I don't know. Uh, they had days. stretch goals. They had about <laughs> 15 stretch goals. The very bottom one was to get the game simultaneously released on consoles for PS4, Xbox One and Wii U. Oh, wow. And that was a million pounds. Goals. Right, that was a million pounds, <laughs> that stretch goal. Yeah. They got that in about six or seven hours. <laughs> They got a million, it was pounds as well, it wasn't dollars. Oh, they got wow. a million pounds in about <laughs> less than 24 hours, I know Woo-hoo. that much. Okay. It's currently 1.5 something million at the moment. Sweet. So obviously it's slowed down since that first 24 yeah. hours, but <laughs> fucking hell, that first 24 hours was the most wow. insane one I've ever seen. <laughs> like, I was watching it go up because it was just fascinating to see. Well, there was one old other one very that similar that I was uh, watching. Oh, yeah. And We're getting to that. We'll yeah. get to that. <laughs> All I can say is it made me very, I don't know, like choked up to, to be a part <laughs> of this community, but let's yeah. go on. Basically, there's a pattern with <laughs> this. Ha- there's a pattern with this. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's a pattern growing is, here. Basically, <laughs> publishers that don't know what the fuck people want. Oh, going, fuck. Well, that? not Shenmue. <laughs> uh, do you know what? The, for the last few days, because of this stuff, the Shenmue community has been um, yeah. sort of uh, almost rowing about it because <laughs> you got to, you got to know sh- sh- to make Shenmue oh, the, free this the, way. The, yeah. It's too big a budget. It's mm. too big. A you game. could not make a. You could not kickstart a Shenmue. No, you but a lot not. of people are saying you can. You can. They got no. a couple of million. No, no. it's going to be a little bit more than a couple of million. <laughs> How much money did the original game cost? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was somewhere in the. I'm sorry, but I personally do not think you can crowdfund uh, the next Shenmue. Shenmue was, at its time, the most expensive game for a very long time. Right up until GTA 4, that's how long they held it. Yeah, I think GTA... Was it GTA 4? Yeah, it was 4. 4 took about 100 million to make, I think. And then five was even the difference more was those five games was actually really make that. it back. Yeah, that's the other difference. GTA Five was really double that, wasn't it? It was yeah. insane. Shenmue barely sold anything yeah. in comparison to its budget, so, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it cost yeah. a fortune and didn't make enough of it back. So how the hell are they going to kickstart? I, was, I just don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, they uh, can raise a lot of money, but it won't be enough. <laughs> yeah. So there's the ukulele one. That's obviously been like one of the biggest things I've seen. There was another one I saw called uh, Formula Fusion. And it's basically, you know how uh, Sony ended up shutting down uh, what used to be um, the Wipeout developers? Uh, yeah. yeah, they shut them down, didn't they? You know the really London like the studio. Wipeout games. <laughs> uh, those guys have gone off to do a new not Wipeout <laughs> on Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've right. actually got the Designers Republic on it as well. So it's got all the original like... <laughs> You can't wipe those logo bastards designs. Out. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, and like Wipeout HD, like on the PS3, was fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. If you ever manage to get your hands on PS3, make that one of the first yes. things you pick up because yeah. it's stunning. Absolutely. Wipeout games are fantastic. Yeah, I have to say. Um, so yeah, there's that going on at the moment, and there's even I guess I don't know if it really counts because um, it's not really by the original creators, but there's a game called 90s Racer, 90s Arcade Racer. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah it's been it, going for years, hasn't that it? That has been actually yeah. in development for years because it's taken them a lot of fucking it's work. Like, that looks it's like basic, Daytona, basically. It's basically Daytona plus Scud, Scud Race plus Virtua Racing. <laughs> it's basically all of Sega's like 90s yeah. arcade games crammed into one. And they've been showing off loads of new levels from it. Oh, uh, one of them is flat out a Virtua Racing layout. It even has the same polygonal trees. And, oh, wow. Like, it's almost like, there's even like a level with like a virtual, what looks like a virtual one robot towering over the level. It's like, they're so, they were almost, you know, a bit too far. It's almost like they're just copy pasting Sega characters in and then just recolouring, painting, <laughs> spray painting them a different colour and go, yeah, 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 it's, it's not them. It's just. Who would ever do that? Do it's not virtual. Not? It's not virtual one. It's, it's, it's. Virtual <laughs> bomb, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, Virtual. this is um, it's Virtron. Yeah, this it's is Virtron. Um, this is Steve. Steve the the porcupine. Yeah. 
Well, that's yeah, kind of. But I it's, mean, you know, like oh, there's really, got to be a not. No, there is a not Sonic. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah again, is really similar. Yeah, Freedom Planet. <laughs> yeah, that's because that actually technically started as a Sonic fan game. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah. all honesty, it was actually based on like an engine for like Sonic fan games. Yep. So uh, again, that uh, that doesn't really count because it's not like the original developers. Yeah. It's not like Sonic Eugene... is still kind of. Going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the most yeah, part. Well, for the most part. <laughs> even though Sonic mobile Boom games was, at the moment. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think they're trying to push that. I forget at the support. moment they're pushing that one under the yeah. rug. Sonic's I think on life support right now. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much just like, uh, I think they're taking a little break out at the moment. I think so. After, because well, I think, you do is take I'm a convinced, nice break I'm convinced that was supposed two. to be a full reboot. <laughs> yeah. And then when they saw their reaction, they quickly changed their minds and went oh yeah. actually no it's a spin off we don't need a reboot <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, they really did like when they first announced it they made it sound like a because they made a yep. big fucking deal out of the yeah. revival and when they showed it like it was so obvious that that wasn't gonna take off it just looked <laughs> but yeah anyway moving on yeah uh, <laughs> right I guess we should go on to the I guess the final the most recent one this literally happens I guess a few days ago. Yeah, we wanted Less to, than we a wanted week to do ago. this podcast a little bit sooner. Actually. We were going to do this yeah. last week, but then something came up that was like hinting at something happening within the next week. So we're thinking, uh, maybe we should wait a little bit. <laughs> Basically, um, a website popped up called. What was it? Whip or sword? Yeah. Com. <laughs> and it was basically a pixelated. Um, What's his name? I- Igarashi. Kind yeah, of it looked like Igarashi, and he was just like sitting on a throne. Yeah, and it exactly was... like the symphony. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, basically he was asking you to choose between a sword and a whip. And I don't think I've ever clicked one one picture of a whip more times than yeah <laughs> ever before. I must have clicked that link uh, that whip about. And he just like he just like times. left loads of like little messages, yeah. didn't he? My like, favorite uh, one was uh, what do you do when you uh, when you're left without a castle? You build. <laughs> no, no, that's it. That's what I was gonna bring up. That's what every what. That's what you know gave away what it was gonna yeah. be. It was like you no one. Be more most people yes. thought it was just like some weird hoax, but when yeah. like they were seeing stuff like that, it's like someone's fucking with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's someone the whole was, thing, wasn't it? Uh, the in, the the internet for a little while there was sort of saying that like, oh, just gonna this is even gonna be one of the greatest announcements or one of the nastiest like cruel jokes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like after that like fake Rayman in Smash Brothers yeah. image art. Uh, like the fakes are gonna get better and better and better. So yeah. oh, like, man, something like that could guy, easily be mocked up. The guy who but... made that really convincing. Um, yeah, he showed a video, video, didn't he? Yeah. It was an awesome like making of. And, like, yeah. Wow. It's just stunning, like rendering on that. <laughs> <artwork>. <laughs> the only thing I don't think he had was the actual voice going, Reebok! 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 Okay. <laughs> All right. You know you can do that if you keep pressing B and A. Oh, right. oh, I like course, to do it with yeah. Fox because he goes fa 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 Fox. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, um, this turned out to be very true. This um, mm. this little because uh, one of the other messages it came up with was like come back in a week. <laughs> yeah, come back in a week. And it was like a Monday, so it was like oh well. And give Good it some time move. and there was like a little Twitter thing at the bottom wasn't there where it actually had like hashtag Igavania 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 was like mm. oh, so yeah again <laughs> <laughs> again it could anyone could have hoaxed that up yep. <laughs> but I'll let you obviously oh, well, well basically I, I had strong faith I was getting very excited prematurely as, as I do which is a constant, a constant problem. <laughs> it's amazing I conceived at all <laughs> um <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a subtle joke that I then made too uncomfortably real. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, yeah, um, it was really weird timing, wasn't it? I, I wrote up a post on Facebook saying, like, oh, I'm going to hold out tonight for some news. And what I didn't realise was when I typed that, it had already been announced for about five, ten minutes. <laughs> and I went, oh, fuck. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, it's happened. And um, yeah. You like that guy that Simon saw and it was like, there's going to be a Castlevania announcement, full stop, voices. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Because, um, uh, Jimmer in Twitch, yeah, he had this fantastic little image that um, he found from the, there's a website that was advertising like hotels, wasn't it? And it was someone's review. And he yeah. said, a lot of noise from outside. And then at a full stop, voices. 
<laughs> it's like they thought about it after the fact. Yeah. They had to think about it. I could hear noises outside the window. Voices. <laughs> yeah, so you were a bit like that with your I was, Facebook yeah. message. Just like, gonna there's going to be a casual venue announcement. There has been one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I watched the um, little Kickstarter pledge and it was... Even that video was really well made, wasn't it? It looked oh, really God, slick. Because yeah, um, I've seen some Kickstarter videos that are, like you said before, just some guy in his room with a webcam going, ah, Dave Ford, we're going to... We are very excited. And they're really nervous on camera as well because they're not, you know, they're not camera people. Yeah. So anyway, but yeah, he um, he was just... Oh, he just... I don't know, he was a mixture of smug <laughs> and... Um, don't you think the way that train nice started... Personality. Yeah. It really looks like the old F M V. Oh, they definitely did that. Yeah, on they they did it that on purpose. Spot on. Yeah, it, it was, was the whole really... lightning hitting the uh, yeah the Castle. the gravestone and yeah. the back comes out. Mm. And yeah. yeah, basically, um, it was a very slick video, um, very comical as well. There's a couple mm. of little jokes in there, and he just little, he just uh, got such a personality. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and he's yeah he's got a very. Um, yeah, very good personality on the camera, wasn't oh, he? Oh, God he was really, like, sort of smooth. <laughs> he is very smooth. <laughs> and he has very much become the sort of father of Castlevania, even though he came in sort of halfway through his lifespan. Yeah, But exactly. he came in and drastically changed the um, series into something that appealed to even more fans. It was yeah. like Fallout 3, wasn't it? Yeah, mm. like, no, Fallout had its own little thing. Yeah. And when they made 3 and drastically changed the engine, everyone loved Jumped it. on it. And yeah. that's what happened to Castlevania. And what... Should have happened to Resident Evil because mm-hmm. four was amazing and it changed the whole thing up. And then they went five. No, come back, Resident Evil. What are you doing? <laughs> Six, right? Fuck off. <laughs> off you go. Right into that traffic jam. Oh, go suck a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. So yeah, basically, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if anyone's gonna, oh. yeah, carry on the Castlevania, um, carry the gauntlet, it should be I- I- Koji Igarashi. Igrashi. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because the Lord of Shadow was a brilliant fun moment where were. he had the glass and smashed it. The glass, <laughs> he threw it, it yeah. <laughs> off screen, I noticed. You probably hit a pillow, I think. You didn't see it smash. No, it was just, a really bad you saw, it, you saw him throw it, and then when it zoomed out, there was no shattered glass on the floor. So it's obvious they just chucked it on the pillow and cut, but yeah, you know. But yeah, um, and yeah, so it's. Obviously, another spiritual not Castlevania, uh, mm. another one of those not games, mm. um, and yeah, it's called Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, so Maybe. even the name, yeah, Ritual of the Night. His Other first game, night. yeah, his <laughs> first project was Symphony of the Night. So yeah. the whole um, thing is a big shitty stick in the eye for Konami, <laughs> and it was Konami mm. who said, you know, they drove him out, didn't they? Basically, yeah. by saying, oh no, what we're not going to make any more of these exploration. You know, Castlevania, uh, Metroidvanias, because no one wants them anymore. What oh. the fuck are you talking about? That's, <laughs> that's the pattern with all of these yeah. things. No one wants it's classic many, Mega many Man after us. Mega Man 9 and 10 did really well. <laughs> it's men in suits making fucking uh, stupid decisions. <laughs> but no one wants a new 3D platformer like Banjo-Kazooie <laughs> after we tried to make one that wasn't a fucking 3D platformer. It was a weird driving game. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> nobody wants to show you free. <laughs> they hated that shit. <laughs> Happy opposite day, Squidward. Ah! We hate you. <laughs> so, you know, um, you uh, I mean, do I even need to mention the yes. whole kerfuffle with what the hell's going on with Hideo Kojima and all that stuff? We're going to get to that, Jasmine. <laughs> I saw an absolute beating they got the Did other day. Did he touch the, one of their kids? <laughs> Well, if you say we're going to come back to it, we'll, we'll come yeah. back to it. But let's just yeah. say that I saw Konami I'm dare con- to say something on Facebook the other day I'm and they just got... <laughs> I'm convinced he touched one of their kids. <laughs> Shut up. Because what else could he have done it's... to make them fuck him so hard? There's <laughs> something very strange Well, let's get back to that in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, basically, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, they've got... Um, they had a few things to show on the Kickstarter. They had some concept art. Now, I will admit, I, I, I'm hearing that it's not... When I first like saw that. it, the concept because obviously art... they look like screenshots. Yeah. And I saw it, I was like... <gasps> And then it's like, oh, it's concept art. Mm. <laughs> the thing is, I'm Mega Man, of... Mighty Number no. Nine did the same thing. Yeah. They had this amazing looking concept art that could have been a screenshot. It's like, oh, it's going to be an amazing two D game. Well, but, do you know what though? Yeah. I'm kind of glad it doesn't. It it, it it might not look like that because I think it looked a bit 
Mugen, like flash kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it's it, nice. It, 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 kind of remi- great, but it kind of reminds yeah. me of like Dragon's Crown and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. like the high res like, yeah. stuff. Which is it, cool, so it looked but, nice. Yeah. yeah, don't get me wrong, it looked fantastic. But I, I just hope the game isn't going to look quite like that. I hope it's going to well, look a bit Well, I suspect more... it's not because yeah. for the start as they announced it's got to be 2.5D. Excellent. Right? I think that will work quite nicely. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's being developed by the same people that are doing uh, Mighty Number no. 9 Integrates. Yep. So that's interesting. They got uh, Michu Yamane back in. And she's been doing the soundtrack, funny enough, since Symphony as well. Um, yeah. She's only not that done a couple happy, of them. Just that alone, just you yeah. know, maybe been on it. As long she's as she literally done another lost painting. Because she did a pretty sound... much the main theme has already been. She's written. pretty much got. <laughs> she's got so much wow. work just from kickstarted games. <laughs> yeah. That's how she ended. She ended up Skull doing. Girls, yeah, Skullgirls. Yeah. She did most of the music on that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty oh. crazy. They got two of them. They also got a guy in um, as part of the Inti Creates team that's also sound engineering. Again, right? not and the original developers, yeah. but there's that not Jet Set Radio um, hover, and they actually yeah. got Hideki Nakamura to do a couple tracks <laughs> for it. So, <laughs> you know. Excellent stuff. You know, yeah, saying game publishers, if you're not going to use this talent, <laughs> we're going to go and take them away from you. I think that's what they're saying. <laughs> but basically, yeah. Um, as I was saying, the other person doing the sound is actually from Inti Creates. Mm. And... When I read this, I, I was very giddy. He said that, oh, he's got about, he's, he's got almost a dozen Mega Man titles in, under his belt. I was like, oh, which ones? <laughs> he didn't specify. Oh, okay. um, but probably Mega Man 9 and 10. I wouldn't be surprised, but yeah. Integrate, and both yeah. those soundtracks were... <laughs> and he wrote a track that also sounded quite, it was quite um, gritty, the one he had um, hmm. as part of that project. Um, but anyway, uh, here's the next bit of like kicking Konami while they're down. Mm. Uh, one of the stretch goals which got met, again, this, this got funded so quickly. Within yeah. 24 hours, they had three times as much as they asked for. <laughs> how much do you think it's... I don't know what it is. I, I forgot to check today how much it is, but right. last time I checked, it was about 1,600,000 plus. So it's probably In more dollars than or... In dollars, yeah. Oh, okay, so... So it's a it's lot. Rough. It's not far off from the other no, exactly. Yeah. Ones. And it's it was around really about well. the same sort of time as well. Like yeah, it came hours. out about a week after. Yeah. 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 But anyway, here's the other shitty stick. One of the stretch goals which got met and, uh, met very quickly is to get David oh, Hayter yeah. to put sacks in it. <laughs> Konami are just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is the best thing about the whole Kickstarter. No matter how the game comes out, getting that stretch goal. They're just, just getting, go. they're just getting kicked so much though. It's like, um, um, because he said on the video, uh, they said these kind of games won't sell anymore. I think they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and bang. a lot of other people did too, judging <laughs> by the funding. Uh, uh, there's yeah, there's that. There's obviously getting people like David Hayter and Mitchell Yamado back in. Uh, it's just Konami should really be. Um, you know, taking some very a very sincere look at themselves at this point. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot we could say there's about more Konami. To come. We've yeah, got a lot to say. They seem to be on a path of self destruction right now. <laughs> yep, that's, I don't understand. Trust me, we're getting back. And they're not to the that. only company doing it to themselves as well. Is there uh, anything else you want to say about? Oh god. So that's pretty much the last game of the The only thing I will say is um, I've been in a bit of a funny mood since that's been announced because I've both been ecstatically happy um, Mm. that, well, you know, anyone who knows me knows that um, my greatest game ever made is Shenmue, but my favourite series and, and, like, games that have constantly delivered um, Mm. and one of the biggest things in my life is Castlevania it's like absolutely adore the series that and Mega Man that life, and Mega so. Man yeah. are so close I can't even it's, it's hard for me to pick one over the other to be honest yeah, yeah. Um, and both of them have got it's probably a good thing you're not a Banjo-Kazooie fan because <laughs> you probably have a too much, down. too much joy for one year yeah exactly <laughs> or much. one month in the case <laughs> one of month, yeah. two of them <laughs> so uh, oh blimey so yeah um, mix of excitement and yeah, sorry, it's a bit mix of like ecstaticness over that, but yeah. also a little bit upset because I'm yeah. still not in a great financial situation with um, you know my son's only like a, a year and a bit old mm. now. Um, you know we, we're in like kind of debt really with this flat trying to pay it all off. Uh, mm. So I can't jump in for all. I would if I had you know if I had the chance I would jump in for as high a tier as I could possibly get. Yeah. So um, but at the moment I'm, I'm gonna try over the next. Like well, twenty something you know days I've got is. left to try and jump in for the hundred. Well, you know what it one. is the Toe Jam and L one. I don't know if their one's going to be run a similar way, but the mm. Toe Jam and L one had a really good system where when it was over, they had this other website where 
people that pledged on a Kickstarter could change their pledge and add more, uh-huh. and other people, I think, could... I, I can't remember so if it was like, but yeah. other people could join in. So it wasn't but, a be-all, end-all at the end of the not, Kickstarter? Yeah, yeah, Kickstarter yeah. isn't always the be-all and end-all. Yeah. Quite often they manage to get additional funding. Mike Number 9 had to do additional yes, funding afterwards because yeah. they were struggling and stuff like that. So yeah. there's still a chance that even after it's finished... I hope, I hope so, but yeah, basically yeah, there's... Because you know, we've got stuff coming up this year where we're going to have to... Lucky Hit's kind of paying for itself in that respect, but uh, also money's going to have to come out of our own pockets. So yeah. basically it's a mixture of ec- ecstatic um, happiness but also uh, melancholy because... I really want to jump in on some of these pledges. I mean, some of the stuff you get. Yeah, you know mm. I mean, they've announced about fifteen odd tiers, haven't they? Yeah. And like the top one is like ten thousand dollars, um, <laughs> but you get to go and meet with um, with Koji Igarashi. You get to have a, a dinner with him and uh, play some games with him on a live stream. So I thought ten thousand dollars. I thought, oh great. And then when I looked at it, it said travel and accommodation not included. What? So you're paying that much money just to meet him and say, oh hello, how'd you do? Oh lovely meal. Oh let's play some games. Oh he's fucked off. <laughs> oh he's gone. <laughs> I would have thought that would include the travel. Selfie. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I thought that would include the travel. So did I. Because the top tiers always seem to be things like that yeah, as well. Yeah. Wow. But like you meet. I guess you <laughs> <laughs> Was it? Oh, I'm not even gonna. We talked about that ages ago. Going to take you back to a shack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <you laughs> top tier is basically prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's they. They just they they word it cleverly. So it's just oh, you're gonna have a shack attack. What would that is? Help! <laughs> oh God, yeah, the shack. Oh, of course, because yeah, that, yeah. that was shack foo, wasn't it? They were, they I wanted bet, to make was it actually sh- funded. Yeah. Oh fuck me! It bloody was. <laughs> So even like I Do you there? know? I, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up with like Bubseed, Bobcat, and awesome possum Kickstarters at this point. Awesome possum comes back. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be we surprised. Still like, I can imagine the show. video as well. We feel like, like he hasn't quite that. kicked enough butt. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. The environment Come still on. sucks. Let's go. Stretch goal make him even more annoying. <laughs> Come on, butt figure! Come on! Come on! Let's kickstart these battle out. toads, why not? <laughs> I actually think um, there's no. a very good chance that uh, Rare might actually announce new <laughs> battle toads at E3 just to try and counter. Just to be. Uh, just to try and counter the. Uh, and then they get back GameStop in from GameStop just to stop it. the fucking questions. <laughs> GameStop's gonna fund it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have got Battle Toads, you fucking yes, prick! We have got Battle Toads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I completely forgot story. about the Shaq Fu one, seeing yeah. as it's something I don't give a that fuck about. That was a while ago, yeah. it? <laughs> Oh god, yeah. That was quite a while ago. Again, you mean you don't care about Thack Shoe? Thack <laughs> Shoe. <laughs> but, yeah, so even stuff like that oh, got Shaq funded. Even stuff like that ways. got funded. <laughs> so, like, you know, What's there's, you there's a you very good a moral... Fight? There's a very good moral that, like, big video game companies need to, you know, look at themselves and think about. You know, all these classic Take games... Take yourself in the mirror. Yeah, all these classic <laughs> games, like they see. were classic for a reason. Even People yeah. loved them for a reason yeah. and played... Probably 20 odd installments over mm-hmm. 20 odd years of these yep. game series. You can't just kill off like long a running very... series for no reason. Yeah, I mean, just because a... you're trying to chase some fads <laughs> yeah. and trying to make everything like everything else. Well, and, you know. The thing that fucks me off is uh, all this obsession over mobile gaming. Um, As well, yeah. Because I know. Th- Mobile gaming is a huge thing in Japan, isn't it? It's huge. But well, over world. here in the West, it, it's still big over here, but we don't really want. For game companies to focus solely on the mobile platforms when no. you've got like next gen you got you know there's so yeah. many possibilities and it's just like no let's just make something where you're tapping on a fucking tab <laughs> yeah because they're easy to make and they sell yeah <laughs> they make a shit ton of money yeah well, that's yeah. the problem isn't it yeah. you can't really argue with that logic but at the same time it's really infuriating yeah so exactly. you are stuck in the middle you're like well I would like my companies to, you know companies that make my favourite games both? to That'd make nice. a lot of money with that and fund the good stuff yeah because yeah. apparently say you're actually doing kind of a gig this year apparently uh, yeah obviously they shut some down a lot of like, yeah. some of their stuff's like not sold as well, but the Alien game did really well. Yeah. It was like their best-selling game of yeah. last year. So. I've, I don't know, I've just heard recently that they, um, even I though it looks that, like it's, pr- I mean, like the whole thing with E3. There's no way, Sega are not yeah. bleak. Uh, no, I don't, think they, they, I don't think they're going to be 
leaving any time. No. But at the no. same time, you know... They're not they gonna... own one of the biggest anime, like, <laughs> studios in Japan. They own uh, TMS. Mm. So, you know, <laughs> hardly in a dire strait. They bought, like, Atlas and quite a few other companies. Yeah, they own Atlas, don't they? Well, that is a smart move. conglomerate, do they actually own Atlas now? So it's not like they're short of money. That is a very smart move, actually. They are not short of money. They're just trying, they're just being really fucking careful with money right now. I think, yeah, so... They kind of have to. Sega are actually not really currently pissing people off, you know? Nah, not as (laughs) much. Not too much. Nah, (laughs) as long as they keep giving me 3D classics, I'll be happy. Exactly. (laughs) That's actually, they actually are doing okay on those as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's all thanks to The obvious reason of M2 doing incredible Incredible work on them, mm, <laughs> making them yeah. look stunning. Yeah. Uh, Thunder Blade <laughs> just came out, buy it. <laughs> yes, I will do so. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> I want to buy them all because win. I want them to carry on. <laughs> buy Fancy Zone Two if you can. If you only buy one, buy Fancy Zone Two because it's I fucking absolutely incredible. love Fancy Zone it is Two. Incredible. Oh my god, it's probably my favourite thing on the 3DS. Now. I need to sit down and get on with that at some point so I can talk about it on the next episode, uh, next podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. So know, basically. Yes, yeah. The reason all these spiritual revivals are happening is because people want these games mm. and these companies just don't seem to get it. Excellent. But yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to a certain company yes. that really doesn't get anything right now. Let's just go after a, a little bit of a break and come yeah. straight back to it. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> this could get a bit involved. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So uh, that was a funky little tune. Ooh. That song was a bit unepic, to be honest. <laughs> you see, that's really funny. <laughs> that's current, relevant, topical, and brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, yeah. I thought was, it was the opposite, all of those. But. That was the Guardians <laughs> theme from uh, Unepic. Um, Steam, Wii U, and probably some other things. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned that game last podcast. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't been Sounds playing good. it since because I kind of got stuck on the boss as you get on my nerves. But uh, huh. um, yeah, still love the game. Um, yeah, basically that was from the the area, the the, the gardens area, um, which is the first one of the first areas in the game where you start to get really nasty um, things happen to you. Just like kind of like old D&D and stuff you can have like status effects you can get the same status effect sort of like stack (laughs) so you can get poisoned nine times in a row and have your health just go yeah so the garden's full of that like every enemy you kill pretty much like I don't think it actually makes that noise as well (laughs) sploosh (laughs) but yeah um so, yeah, it's a bit of a nasty area. But what I really noticed about that um, that whole gardens area is the the whole thing looked like Castlevania. Yeah, on the first Castlevania, the third level is pretty, pretty much, it's the gardens, funny enough. And it looks really similar in the background and the level layout and stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phil's putting funny faces because he's very tired. Um, <laughs> Yeah. It is two in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's pretty like... Uh, As we are recording. So it looks really like Castlevania. And that song, you have to admit, really sounds like something like Castlevania, especially yeah, the earlier yeah, games yeah. as well, yeah. Mm. A sort yeah, of, it did a it. Sort it of did. mix. It had that vibe. Yeah. yeah. A kind of like 
a meeting in the middle between the retro um, videos and uh, the stuff that Mitri Yarbrough even come out with in Symphony, which has got like those kind of nice mm. um, strings coming through and like yeah, sort of yeah, the, yeah. there's a sort of nice melody is coming in with all the dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love that mix, you know. Like yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of the songs in Castlevania Symphony like do that. Yeah. They come in with dramatic like overtones, and then suddenly in the middle it will just start to cool down a bit. Like there's that mm. bit in. Uh, I won't go on too much, but there's it's one sorry. of the areas I can't remember which one it is. I think it's like the alchemy laboratory or something, but it comes in with like do 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 do. Can I just mention the <laughs> brilliant convenience and timing of like. Oh, Symphony of the Night. That the is funny, going isn't it? out that the same weird. week as like, Bloodstained was announced. Because you yeah. recorded them a while back, didn't you? Well, here's the thing. Um, yes, um, we, we wanted to do Symphony of the Night. sitting on them for a while, you know, <laughs> waiting for Shemu to get out. That's finished. right, yeah. Mm. We recorded the whole playthrough of Symphony of the Night for Lucky Hit Plays at, at around about Christmas time. Because we even mm. mentioned on this first episode that we were doing it on Christmas Eve. So... <laughs> Yeah, so we finished it all before the year was out because we did it quite nippy. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't loads of parts. But basically what it was, I planned to get the whole thing out in January, um, mm. but we had a bit of a problem with I was waiting on uh, the thumbnail art to get done. Um, uh, it was Kat, my partner, was doing it and uh, yeah. she had a lot on, so it, it was kind of delayed. Yeah. And then I couldn't really hang on any longer because February kicked off the rest of Shimmy. Like, we... Started Shim U two, yeah. um, obviously like for months I've been working on on that log, getting it all out and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, um, Castlevania was meant to be between the Shim U's, but ended up oh, literally yeah. starting it yesterday now, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> getting them all out. So um, how weird is that for timing? Like yeah. we we, we yeah, had yeah. to wait on it for all these months, and then it turns out to be the same like week or you know well just rough time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. around about a week away from uh, from. Castlevania spiritual success of being announced, which has even got a similar name, Ritual of the Night. Yeah. So it's almost like people could just assume that we've done that on purpose. You know, we've got, oh, it's going to look like that. Record something. It's going to look that way, isn't it? Yeah. I hope that and we so don't. That yeah. Hopefully they'll notice the Christmas Eve thing. Well, yeah, but again, that could look like we've done it on purpose. Like, oh, it's just Christmas Eve, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. It's, it's, it's April Fool's. <laughs> it's. Halloween of 1987. <laughs> well, I, I think in later episodes we actually mentioned stuff that has now come to like light. So, uh, like, yeah, I'm thinking of like. Uh, honest. Honest. <laughs> we didn't throw this together. Quick. Well, the thing is, I actually can't remember <laughs> like, some of the stuff we discussed. So, yeah, yeah, you're right. It is really weird timing about that. Mm. So, yeah, look forward to from now until another week and a bit. Uh, we've got daily episodes of Cast Radio Super Night coming out. So, uh, we were coming back to um, our main topic. Um, well, we were coming back to, like, yeah. sort of blending it into a new topic about <laughs> the Cone Army. <laughs> the, the Cone <laughs> Army. As Phil, Phil brilliantly put it. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, uh, I think Phil's gone. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. He's it, out. It is, it <laughs> is, is 2 a.m. <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. Konami have always been, not all, you know, until recently, they've been one of the, the kind of the good guys, in my opinion. You know, they, they've always brought out fantastic games. They've always treated us pretty well, haven't they? Like, yeah, we've had, like, exclusive versions of Metal Gear and stuff like that, you know, like mm. uh, European Extreme and stuff like that. Yeah, they've yeah. brought out some certain, certain series have been, you know... Uh, I suppose what you could say, favourably treated over here. Mm. Um, until recently, they just kind of. It's like they're doing one big campaign to just pull it's themselves apart. It's an implosion. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much an implosion. It's in just going mad, right isn't There's it? Something <laughs> very strange going why, on. Like oh, I know. <laughs> I think so. I think eventually we're going <laughs> to get some kind of shed of light on it. I think There's so. no way they can yeah. cover it up. Whatever's been covering it up. What? Like someone's done something Something's bad. gone wrong. Yeah. Something's definitely gone wrong somewhere. It could be <laughs> something as simple as, like, maybe they... Uh, didn't get Hideo Kojima a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or, or, like, you know, maybe they had, like, some kind of weird, like, <laughs> stock crash somehow and just, like... Yeah, it's all very weird. There's loads of, like, conspiracies and oh, rumors yeah. and... Like well, <laughs> one of the biggest things that's going around is there's this, um... 
supposed like emails from someone from Konami yeah. who's been chatting with someone and basically saying the boss of uh, Konami actually really hates Kojima because <laughs> right actually has it out for him because because <laughs> one uh, um, well, he, they they reckon he hates Kojima because he goes over budget and over time yeah. and is really frivolous with his games like, and doesn't just like. Never mind the fact that it's the biggest selling game series ever. Yeah, you know. (laughs) And uh, there's loads of, like, very strange stuff going on about it, because, you know, they're trying to launch, like, casinos, Konami. Yeah. And uh, I didn't actually realise this, but apparently gambling is not actually legal in Japan yet, and they're trying to get it legalised in the country, and Konami are basically waiting in coattails for when gambling becomes illegal so they're going to leap on it what? and be like the first ones to launch all the big I don't oh, no, know that they've been into that, that kind of thing for that's a while. why they've got stuff like pachinko and that yeah. they don't actually get money out of that it's not you know like what? money gambling yeah there is, that, that could actually um, is that speculation then the gambling thing or is it actually like I think confirmed? that's an actual thing because that makes like, sense because how many um, Castlevania and like other Konami themed pachinko machines there's loads mm-hmm yeah, yeah, they they did like Gomon ones with yeah. elaborate and Parodius ones with like elaborate CGI animation. Yeah. that was amazing. But it's in a pachinko machine. Yeah. It's not in a game. I've it's seen the f- Castlevania one. Like, it's got the like Parodius one's like incredible. Visuals. It's like that's what a new Parodius game could look like. <laughs> but it's in that. But no, no, no. Stick your money in and get your balls come out. Yeah, but yeah, there's some weird well, stuff you, going yeah. around like the the boss basically they apparently there's rumours that they're like trying to merge all the video game companies together like the DDR companies used to be separate and all that but now they want to like merge them all into just a sound team and a you know like graphics team and whatnot. Mm. and uh, obviously there's been all that strange stuff going on where they were like removing Kojima's name from yeah. all the websites there's and still no taking his name off the game there, there? and then they put it back on <laughs> And oh, I don't know what the fuck. still doesn't seem to like be they took right off the Kojima that. Productions logo. Yeah. And, oh, there's so much weird shit going down. And um, oh, what they put out a statement. Was it today? They were basically saying they want to focus oh, on like man. mobile stuff, didn't oh, they? Yeah. Which a lot of companies are doing. They are. And but it kind of some people we actually reckon Metal Gear Solid Five might be like their last console game. Hmm. Like there's a lot of people really? saying they're just trying to get that out. Just so they can just get out because they, wow. they, they don't see the money in it anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's really bad. I actually feel a bit worried for like the Japanese games industry so moment, because there's yeah. a lot of weird shit going down. It almost looks like they're going towards almost like a crash. Oh, kind Jesus. of like what America Another had in the one, 80s. Yeah. Well, because obviously, like, the one that happened in the 80s, that mainly involved America. Yeah. It didn't really affect anywhere else. Yeah. But, like, you know, it definitely didn't affect Europe. And it, it no, we were really, absolutely, like... It, it was mainly, like, <laughs> what really caused the crash in the 80s was just too many games of poor quality. And yeah. that's kind of starting to happen now. Mm. Uh, you think about it, like, Steam, they're pretty much letting anything in now. Greenlight, they're just yeah. letting... A lot of there isn't really much in the way of quality control. I think yeah. you're quite right actually with that because you got things phone like games. Ubisoft. Phone games are the worst for it. Yeah. They just let anything on. Yeah. It. As long as it functions and doesn't kill your phone, they allow it. Yeah. So there's millions of clones of everything. Yeah. yeah. There's just rip offs. And you, but, you, know, you, you just put got... in like Sonic the Hedgehog and you just get loads of fake. <laughs> Weird <laughs> shitty games with like a recolored Sonic with like. Well, you've also got like triple A titles that are just shitting their games out too quickly. You know, yeah, obviously, yeah. it's Assassin's Creed with Ubisoft. Yeah. Every time they make a new game, it just doesn't work. No, you just need to <laughs> sit and bake one of them for longer just than five minutes. Movies. Don't push them out once a year, for Christ's sake. No. I love Assassin's Creed. I absolutely adore the series. But I mainly love it on the aspect of the stories. Like in, my book, in, mm. in my book, the story is fantastic in all of them. Like Every mm. single one of them has got a fantastic in-depth story that I'm really engrossed by. Yeah. Um, but... It, you know, it gets let down by the fact the game engine basically tears itself apart all the time. But like, yeah, you get, like, especially with all the naval stuff, really, you've got guys like flying like out that, to that, That's like story stuff. driven, that should not be annual. That's the kind of thing yeah. you do for like sports games. Just but to do it. like a big, like, open world, you can't do a big open world story driven game annually. And, it's just yeah. too much. And they try and give you this, they try and pull the wool over our eyes by saying, oh, we've been working on this for two years. Like, 
I can believe that you've started the project simultaneously while the other with out. three other games yeah. coming out. In the I next can understand three years. that they would actually kind of do that, but at the same time, we've all heard the stories from ex employees themselves mm. who have said that the pressure's too much. This yeah. isn't like what we they got into so, making games they have all hundreds about. Hundreds and hundreds yeah. of stuff as well, but they probably go through them like yeah. fucking anything. And just not just other, you know, out. like Ubisoft's one of the only games companies that has um, offices all over the world that can, like, all work yeah, simultaneously on one game. Yeah, tons of companies. Yeah. Let's see how long their bloody credits are on their yeah, games. Exactly. They go for hours. Like, yeah. yeah. So. I am quite worried <laughs> about uh, the future of this this Konami current generation. Konami are really fucking themselves over because it's not even just the Kojima thing. That's just the yeah, fucking that's tip of the iceberg. One of There's the many things. Yeah. PT is the other thing. Again, oh Kojima was involved well, in that. that now, he d- right? yep, they cancelled it. They cancelled the game and people out. went mental. For Basically, it. what could have been one of the biggest hyped, other than Metal Gear Solid, that would probably be one of their biggest. That was one of their biggest hyped things yeah. they've yeah. ever done. It was one of the most that. ingenious okay. reveals they've yeah. ever done. They just hid the reveal within this cryptic demo yeah. that most people couldn't be. Yeah. And then when the first person live streamed it, found it, and it said Silent Hills, blah blah blah. Glimmer, I saw Nantaro. that live stream and I, I, I shared in that joy. That, Even though Silent Hill was in the I'm series I'm familiar with, no. I felt the joy of that yeah, person who obviously incredible. loves that series. They started it losing such their such a shit. clever <laughs> fucking demo. Yeah. And not only have they cancelled the game and obviously wiped all evidence That's completely of it gone everywhere, yeah. they stopped people from downloading the demo. Yeah. Obviously they delisted the demo. And you know what happens when things are delisted generally on downloadable services if something gets delisted you but you you own it yeah. you can still go back and download yeah. it yeah they've somehow found a way around it and they've made it so if people haven't got it on their hard drive or their PS4 right now they can't get it anymore uh, even if they downloaded it previously ridiculous <laughs> didn't you tell me before that people are actually like selling they PS4s are, yeah, with yeah of course demos. people are starting to sell PS4s with the demo in it because it was you know some people were actually legitimately, legitimately saying it. it was like the best thing they've played on their PS4 oh yeah so no, a lot clever. of people are saying that it was so and clever. the demo itself is fantastic it's terrifying it's really yeah. atmospheric and it was clearly it's got that cryptic the thing where everyone wants to really well. find out what it is and obviously yeah. when they did you know, yeah you you eventually escape the house and it's so really just, oh, you know so going good. back to the spiritual <laughs> revival things who wants to who wants to bet that after kojima like yeah give it a couple of years he's gonna pop up a lot of little kids <laughs> or silent hill type yeah, thing yeah. something like pt but with someone else. Actually, I, reckon I actually wouldn't be surprised yeah. if another company jumped on Kojima and had, you know, threw money and said, right, we're going to give you a studio. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if someone like Sony did that. They yeah. just come along and went, well, because you're you know, <laughs> yeah. Konami don't give a fuck anymore. He, he, we'll, we'll build you a studio. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised because people will be clamouring for him. Yeah. I, I can't even see him needing to go indie, but he might. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to say at this point, but... A lot of people were also saying, with all this shit going down, a lot of people are going, oh, I'm not going to buy anything by Konami now. I'm definitely not going to buy Metal Gear Solid yeah. 5. No, don't do that. Yeah. Buy Metal Gear Solid yes, 5 yes, yes. to prove them fucking wrong. Exactly. Because they, they clearly <laughs> think, oh, this costs too much money, it takes too much time, it's too artistic, blah, yeah. blah, blah. When we could just pump out a load of phone games that make just as much money. Prove them bloody wrong. Yeah. Buy that Go game out the second buy it comes out. Five, I know I it's, gonna, it's probably going to be the swan song of the series and they're really going to... Yeah. I can see them putting their all into that and making that special because yeah. it's... Well, like, basically... I think it's going to be the last proper... When I mentioned earlier point. about like a, a thing on Facebook that I saw literally today, I think that was yesterday I saw it, and mm. this is the, the story, basically. Um, I absolutely adored the game Peace Walker, you know, mm. the PSP game, but then yeah. they released it on HD Collection, which was a great move, mm. um, because it had a lot of online elements, and obviously yeah. the PSP is a bit of a nightmare. And so um, the whole thing that. really works on that HD Collection, and I loved Peace Walker. It's actually my one of my favourites. Mm. Um and yeah, basically what it was, it was the Metal Gear Solid group on Facebook shared. Um, they said like someone been playing it, and they and the, the quote they gave was, "It's amazing. It's like a uh, an open world Peace Walker." So I was like, "Yes, yeah, rubbing my hands," because that's what I was hoping it would be. Oh, what, the five. Yes, five. Sorry, yeah. Um, they were just saying that 
Phantom Pain is basically like an open world peace walker. So I just thought fantastic. But I thought mm, I had a feeling because of all the Konami stuff. I scrolled down the comments and it's literally there was about three hundred comments of people going, "Oh look, it's a Hideo Kojima game." <laughs> yeah, they were just like, "Oh, mm. it, they were just smashing Konami in the face repeatedly." It was That's literally really about three hundred comments. Any anything they mark, any way they market that game now, they're just gonna get flat. They're gonna get so it. much. They are gonna get so much. Black for it. And they deserve it because they've yeah. just gone. They've gone mental. about it in a very weird way. I don't way. know what the hell is yeah. wrong with them. Either some, yeah, as we said, either something's really serious has gone down and they're trying yeah. to keep it hush hush, or I don't know, maybe they've just given up on consoles and they're just going about <laughs> it a very bad way. And they're not like coming uh, out. They're not going out gracefully like they could have done. No. You know what I found out in the week as well. At one point, Konami were designing a console, oh. and we're talking like in the eighties, somewhere between the NES and the like the Famicom and the Mars system. Uh, there's actually a picture of it, <laughs> like they actually made a cartridge based system, and they were actually planning to just instead of making Famicom games, they were just going to go and just make their own system. <laughs> oh wow! And I've never heard that. Back before. then, they could have done because <laughs> they were fucking amazing in the eighties yeah. and nineties. They could they have held huge. a console by themselves yeah. easily. Because the amount of games on the Famic, like the NES, the Famicom, you know, that kind of yeah. stuff that were like just don't like the SNES as well, they just dominated those systems. Well, basically, I've always they had were almost huge unstoppable back then. They were just yeah. unstoppable they back were. in the 90s, the arcade games. And... As a Konami fan, I oh, felt they, like right yeah. until now, like, they treated me very well. You yeah, know, Castlevania, no, no problem with I those guess, coming out of here. I guess the only, one the only flack I had with Konami <laughs> was back in like the mid 90s, like with the Saturn, like. Understandably, they didn't release much over here. Uh, yeah. But like, you know, Symphony of the Night was on the PlayStation and the Saturn in Japan. Yeah. They could have brought that over here for the Saturn. That would have been lovely. <laughs> One of the only games Konami did for the Saturn in the West was a port of a SNES platform isometric game called Wiz. Oh. No one liked, no <laughs> one wanted. But that was the only game they That's released weird. in the West in the same year as Symphony of the Night. That's really weird. Mm. That was the one time I was like, what the fuck are you doing, Konami? <laughs> like, in all these years. That was the one time I was like, just bring that over. What the fuck? I mean, do I even need to mention um, the huge amount of success they had in the arcades with DDR? Oh, God, DDR, just, pop and music, yeah. beat mania. <laughs> like just the rhythm genre in general. I mean, like, if they're yeah. quitting out like console games... Wasn't Katar that, like, also rhythm... Um, what was it called on the... Uh, Katar Freaks? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. pretty much invented what became Guitar, you know, Guitar yeah, Hero rock band. and Rock yeah. Band. They kicked they, all that off, yeah. Yeah, they did. They were way ahead of... Like all of that stuff. Love me some Konami. So, um, I'm actually it's, it's you know, as much sad. as we're taking the mic, I'm very worst, sad. About yeah, it. I'm really sad about Konami <laughs> going this way and Especially, coming deluded yeah. like this or whatever's going on because they were an incredible. They were an incredible <laughs> company. Yeah. They were like one of the best. They were up there with Capcom, Sega, and Nintendo yep. as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely, they're yeah. like my four favourites yeah that's and, exactly the same here yeah and the worst thing is is it's not just them that they're killing off they're also what the fuck with Hudson like yeah. why did they buy them what have they done since they bought Hudson they cancelled a bunch of Hudson 3DS games including a yeah. Bomberman game <laughs> <laughs> There's apparently a free to play Bomberman multiplayer game on phones. Uh, that's about it. Okay. In Japan only. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, why did they buy Hudson? Just so they can say they own it and they can sit on it and shit on it. <laughs> yeah, <know>. basically. <laughs> so, it's yeah. Um, I'm hoping that as the weeks go on, maybe we'll start to. Some Jeez. light will be shed on some of these yeah, very I suspect mysterious this is issues. Get very, this is just going to get weirder and weirder. I think so. There's a lot of weird stuff going on right now. And yeah. It's, it's very concerning, it's actually. It's getting odd. So, yeah. hopefully, we'll, yeah, we'll be discussing uh, a bit more of what, what you know what's going to come of this. But in the meantime, yeah, um, it's, it's not looking good for a lot of... AAA companies, but in much like the music industry, um, indie seems to be the way to go now. It seems that way. Like, <laughs> it really does. Even like all these big Japanese, like these big time Japanese developers that made these classic franchises are going the indie route because it's actually doing them better yeah. service because people, the fans are getting what they want and, you know, putting their money where, yeah. you know, the mouth is and... <laughs> So, yeah, it's just like the whole, you know, like uh, the turn of the century with the music industry, isn't it? Yeah, in a way. Very similar. 
It's yeah. mad. Very so, strange. yeah, on that, um, it's kind of mixed um, feelings today. Yeah. Mostly good, though. I mean, you got yeah, you got to remember that the future of a lot of series that are pretty much condemned um, have started to roll back. They found back a way out. to yeah. bring them round. So, yeah. Under a different name, with different characters, <laughs> look a bit different, but it's still... Yeah. Still on the, the magic surface, formula. still that, um, you know. So, in that respect, you know, it's generally a, a, a message of hope. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like, I don't know, like a, a band that became a big <laughs> pop band. Well, I don't know, like a big popular band and then they split up, but then they reform fucked as a different band. Fucked over by their label. <laughs> yeah, fucked over by their label and then they, come, they form <laughs> as a different band with a different name, but they're exactly. still the same, you know band you fell in love with in the first place it's the same <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> kind of yeah. yeah so so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yes I think that's a good place as any for us to wrap up today's um, discussions <laughs> pretty long podcast but it was a good one yeah yeah it was a, yeah, it was a, lot of... a particularly long one so <laughs> I have been Murray Curry uh, I've been the Gagger Man and, and... Uh, Phil's been flat the younger <laughs> <laughs> he's understandably Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has been a long, a long discussion. <laughs> so thank you very much. One uh, thing that you don't notice when we do the podcast is pretty much where the music is. It's probably about half hour before. Yes, uh, before sometimes an hour before we actually <laughs> before, get back to it. Before we feel we're adequately ready to jump in. Very professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, you know, we have our way of doing things. I'm sure. Uh, and it works doing... for us. <laughs> works for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jimmy and Trick could soon uh, vouch for us yes. like that. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Thank thanks for listening for, for however long you listened to. <laughs> if you've got this far, brilliant. Thank you <laughs> very much. Cause we always love to think that people are actually. Listening for longer than two minutes and then going, oh, what's this other video down here? Minecraft? I'll watch that instead. <laughs> These British noobs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Yeah. <laughs>